No audio. Let's do that again. There we go. <laughs> Rewind. Welcome <laughs> to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we're going to be playing some Atari Lynx games. <laughs> A ton of them. Oh my God. Because we're going to be playing the games from the Atari Lynx Jam. Nice. That um, K Retro holds every year for the past couple of years. This Lynx is very excited. Are meow, you meow, excited? Meow meow meow. meow, 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 meow. So excited. Yeah. There we are. Yes, here we go. Atari Lynx. Yeah. Oh my God. A ton of games, a ton of fun games, but we'll get into that soon. Actually, let me list them off. There's a ton of them. I'm going to do a say really fast. Chasm Warden, Dungeon, 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 <laughs> Escape from the Dungeon of Deja Vu, Final Melee, Fortress Fighter, Grogger, Hero Dust, Rainbow, Running Knight, Silly Archery, Silly Archery, Untitled Sword Shooter, Bowling Beast, YNXA, Leaf and the Guardians of Time. Nice. Whole bunch of games. Nice. Um, but we'll get into how that happened and the rules for the Lynx Jam and all that. It's really interesting. Mm. But first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling right down right down there. The bottom, right here. Hey all, the Android, Atari, Arkham, H7, Arts, Arcoder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 874, Atari Age, Atari's Max with Beef Supreme, Beer Poker, Bruno Stacks, Captain Man 2D, Charles Stone Mal, Charles Willen, Chitlilla, Cole Patch, Crazy Curtis, Cyrano Rebo, Dino, Dan Vissi, Debeladina, Debeladonna, DJ Lemon Fresh, Drexel, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Dev, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Azure, uh, Heraldo Aju, uh, Johnny WC, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Kerry Kak, uh, Croco2600, Valtteri, Lambda Express, Lauren, Kraken, Marky, Marky Hannes, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Adelma, and K. Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Anzu, Mr. Zunwoop, Mr. Vix, Nathan Strum, Neomini, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Koag, Arantuitz, R70, Render Ghost, Repentless Feed, Urevan Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spice, Wars, Spendly, Esmeralds, Tiki, Dan K, Tree, uh, The D Train, TM events, track MD, Vaxor X, VVD double down, X can X. Are you, are you sick of me saying these out every week yet? <laughs> There's such so many. Thank you so much for Thank all you. the amazing support. Yeah. Um, you can get your name on this list and make me even more winded than usual <laughs> uh, by hitting subscribe. Uh, it's free with Amazon Prime or you can just hit follow. That's completely free. Yep. And you'll know when we're uh, doing uh, when the we're show. When we're streaming, you'll get a little uh, notification. Just like Peak B did just before the show Excellent. started. He's a dev of a game we're going to be playing nice, tonight. Nice, nice. Uh, it's weird. I have a four seconds delay between the TV and the PC. It depends on buffering, right? If you're running it on two things. Yeah. Um, uh, a poll question, a links poll question, because I <laughs> thought of one before the show. Now, where's my polling? Someone wanted a poll it? question about how people watch Twitch. Uh oh, what happened? Uh, I guess I didn't remember. Uh, oh no, <laughs> having troubles. Uh, luckily. I'm a quick typer. There you go. There we go. <laughs> um, so it's going to snow tonight. And possibly freezing rain. Not going to be a good time. We're home for the night. That's good. It's more tomorrow morning and the commute. That is going to be possibly hellish. So we'll have to see how that goes. Keep talking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> about our pipes our pipes yes so we have this ongoing issue with the pipes in our kitchen which run on the outside of the building in a really poor way and uh our hot water pipe froze over didn't burst thank god but for some reason uh we couldn't get the dishwasher to run yeah usually that doesn't happen usually, usually the cold just... water feeds the dishwasher so well, it always does <laughs> but, but something was frozen along the path it got pretty cold colder than normal cold like minus 12 cold yeah which is crazy for vancouver yeah don't need any comments no <laughs> minus 12 is very a cold. very mild climate here yes um, um and none of the buildings are have their pipes sufficiently insulated to deal with that kind of cold so silly. Um, so we do have uh, a poll, and I've typed it in now. Excellent. Uh, is your links modified? Uh, one, no mods, all original. All original. Uh, two, screen mod only, because nice. you can get upgraded screens, because ah. screens from the 90s are poor, to say the least. Yeah. They're like, what am I... Oh, I can't see it. And then you shine a light on, and it's like, ah, it's worse. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> number three, screen and VGA out mods. Okay, so you can, so you can run it, it on a TV. It to a TV. Very uh, or very four, nice. screen, VGA, and external controller mods, oh which is what we have. Okay. So we can do it on the show. Okay. Or five, I don't have a Lynx. <laughs> I see a lot of fives in there. Lynx are hard to come by, I think. <laughs> they are crap, just say it. Yeah, most, most original screens, they were very early, tiny LCD screens. Yeah. That, you know, just... It was early, early days. They just didn't have the quality. Yeah. So, mm. um, one, one, two, three. One, one, two. Ooh, Peak B. Three links as well. He's a developer. <laughs> I was going to say, I bet Peak B is a developer. <laughs> yes. If it a lot of people have many three. links. Yes. That's nice though. Yeah. Um, so, uh, non links uh, news, mm -hmm. which is. Uh, if you're into 7800, uh, uh, Trevor 7800 ROM Pro Pack was updated two days ago. He usually updates it maybe once, twice a year. Mm. Uh, I know it's all in white, it might be blinding you. <laughs> um, so what this is, is kind of a compilation of the most up-to-date homebrew and I think also classic uh, games and just a big package of everything you kind of need to start out on the 7800 mm. so you have a even if you're just emulating it on the computer mm. or you have some sort of handheld emulator or if you have a 7800 with a uh, multi-cart that you can put sd cards in this is the thing to get it's so good and he updates it with all the newest uh editions and he makes modifications if there's games that don't work on certain systems it's like okay use this one in your concerto use this one on your dragonfly mm -hmm. use this one on 7800 gd whatever you have mm -hmm. um so it's it's absolutely uh, a necessity if you're into the 7800 um oh i have some stuff that i purchased i guess it's mail um so the other day we played four player light gun game. Yes. On the 7800. Yes. First ever yeah. light gun four player game on an Atari system. Sure. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Um, and um, so I was trying to use like this the Mega 7800. Nice. Which is an adapter for the Sega light phaser. So you can use it on the Atari. Yes. Um, these do work. They work great. Yeah. They do not work mm. through the Quatari, unfortunately. Right. And to play four player light gun game on the Quat on the seven eight hundred, which only has two ports, you need four light guns and the Quatari. So I thought, oh, I would buy these. Yeah. I bought two of these. I made one of my own. Mm -hmm. And I had an actual Atari uh, light gun. So I thought I was all set. And I and I tested these. These do work without the Quatari perfectly fine. Mm. And they kind of work with the Quadtari. The, the trigger is recognized, but it does not see anything on the screen. No, it doesn't, yeah. Um, so after the show, I messaged Saint, who's the developer of this mm -hmm. and the 7800 GD, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he doesn't know. He okay. Doesn't, he doesn't have a Quadtari. To can't, test with. He can't do any yeah. testing. Fair enough. Um, so if he gets a Quadtari, he can look into it, but he is... He's baffled. He doesn't understand why it doesn't work. And I've, I've done all the testing I really can. It mm -hmm. just it doesn't work to the fullest extent. So I've made one adapter on my own for uh, Sega to Atari light gun. Mm -hmm. And that worked fine. Quadtari, no Quadtari, everything's perfect. Um, I think part of it might be the auto switching or it added delay or something that doesn't work with the Quadtari or... Delay would kind of issue? a timing issue is what I was thinking. Is yeah, it could be some kind of timing issue. So, so I've successfully made one. Yes, it looks terrible and it's mm -hmm. all janky. But um, I, why did I get three of one and four of the other? I did not order four of these. Anyway, it's a bonus one. Mm -hmm. So I ordered um, some more uh, nine pin male and female mm -hmm. uh, ends. So you can plug it in. Excellent. And a whole bunch of uh, transistors, because I used the wrong transistor Last. in my original yes. one. Yes, yeah. So the trigger was, was backwards. Flipped. Yeah. And I also um, bought some heat 
shrink, shrink. Yes. so that I can enclose it and I don't have to worry about once it's done, it's done. It's, it it's, won't it's all together. get pulled nice. on. It's like big black. I didn't know they made heat, heat shrink that big. I always thought it was just little for wires. Yeah, because I had to get Something bigger Something to ones. go over the board, right? Well, it's not a board, but it has oh, to go over um, these nine pin gotcha. adapters. Gotcha. It, it's a bit excessive, this. But I didn't know how wide this but was. But it'll, it'll, it'll make it look good. And as long as it shrinks down solid. enough. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to get other ones. But I can use that in the future. That's kind of neat. Um, the schematics are all online. You can just look up Atari um, Sega light gun adapter. And the first mm -hmm. hit is has a schematic. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. One resistor, one transistor, uh, four wires on either end, and some stuff in the middle. Mm -hmm. Does Atari have any power input? I would think so because it does do some switching. I think it does have to power um, some sort of chip inside and power mm -hmm. is transmitted, I believe. Yeah. Um, maybe it's just too much for the console to drive. Maybe. Ooh, that's another lead. That's true. Just like you need a powered USB How would you hub. fix that though? You would need to power it somehow. It's it's not fixable. No. Because there's no way to... You'd have to open it up. No, and, no, no. You don't want to... No, 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 no. Or you'd have to increase the power <laughs> going to it, which is like... Uh, uh, that's a little dodgy. It's beyond my uh, pay grade. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is zero. But, that, but it <laughs> but, doesn't have an external power... So, no, it doesn't have an external. It is powered by the 7800, yeah. but that is a good suggestion. That's and a it right? might be a possibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, Saint can rule that out. Yeah. Old Sal yes. was just saying, freezing pipes, you got to leave the water running a little bit. We do. Yep. We do. So we Still, it sometimes freezes. So. so we leave it running on the cold because the cold powers the dishwasher because we have to pick hot or cold. It's not old school, two different yeah, taps. It, well, I've tried putting it in the middle a little bit. It's it doesn't, too hard. It, but it doesn't necessarily help. You have to make sure it, like the cold at least is running. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, but it only happens a couple times a year. So that's what I thought. The quad tire takes power from the plus five V. Uh, a pin. plus five volt pin at the console. Yeah. yeah. So there's power because it needs to do things. Yeah. It's not just a dumb thing. Or you need a beefier power supply for your 7800. Possible. Yeah. And paired with a larger output voltage regulator. Yeah. It's way too much. Yeah. <laughs> I have a solution yes. and it's in my hands. <laughs> yeah. We'll try that first. Yeah. Because yeah. that doesn't require very little power or mm. no power. Um, so let's get on to the thing in question tonight. Yay! Lynx Jam! Which is the Lynx Jam 2023. Um, this is kind of organized on itch.io, but it is organized by K-Retro, uh, which is a website run by Igor. Um, and it took place from the 27th of November, ended the 17th of December. We were off during that time. Mm. Then we came back, we had to do a bunch of things. So we're finally getting to this couple uh weeks later <laughs> yeah yeah but there's a lot of things already scheduled so uh unfortunately i had to take it uh push it a little bit mm. so there were 12 entries we will be ch playing 13 games tonight but i'll explain that in a bit welcome to the annual atari Lynx game jam atari Lynx vault in conjunction with k retro gaming same person mm -hmm. um yes tuna games and argon are bringing the 2023 edition of this jam to a Lynx near you nice. this year's motto is same but different. Mm. What does it mean? Everyone will be provided the same tile set that must be used to create your game. So graphics. Mm. Mm. Uh, graphics. Apart yeah. from that, there's no restriction on genres or type of game you want to make. Mm. And uh, Carrie in the right there in yeah. the chat yeah. said he really loved the way this was organized this year with the tile set so, because it gives you a start immediately. Yeah, it's just, a, it gives you a start and a restriction at the same time, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Uh, previous like years were themes. Okay. So it's like, okay, you have to make a game that's kind of like this, but mm -hmm. it's free for all. You have to make up everything. Gotcha. So this kind of gave you a, a head start, giving you graphics, because you can just throw them on the screen right away and go, oh, do I move the guy? Does he jump? Does he climb things? Mm -hmm. Does he shoot? Um, the tile set all the games need to be based on. It's a 16 by 16 tile, a dungeon tile set too. You can download the original, get the 16 color version for the links that we have uploaded here. Mm -hmm. Rules are not restricting you to any genres. You can make a port of a game from another system or an homage to one, as long as the below listed rules are satisfied. 
All submitted games would be put on a physical multi-cart, as he's done in the past. Mm -hmm. Every participant who submits a valid entry will be sent a free copy of this cart. Oh, that's nice. You must have fun. I specifically <laughs> ordered people to have fun. Yes. Um, uh, submit the ROMs in the following formats, links and BBLO uh, file. Uh, no violative copyrights or trademarks, which which helps giving a title set. Yes. Yeah. Then, those then are, that's least, probably those less likely fine. to happen. Yes. Almost zero chance unless yeah. they make their own. Uh, you must provide use the provided tile set. You may manipulate the image data or add your own. You don't need to use the entire one, but at gotcha. least a bit of it. It's it's kind of a fast and loose roll there. Yeah. Uh, not access or load extra data from the cart. Practically, this means it has to be less than 50K. Gotcha. Not use EEPROM or SD card for saving, uh, blah, blah, blah. And be playable. Demos of broken submissions will be doing it. Aww, it has to be playable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happiness is mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's highly discouraged to create the type of game that this tile set is aimed for at the first glance because then everybody will make the same game. So it's like, think, think outside the box mm. of what the graphics will do look like yeah right? so it, as it says dungeon tile set that implies a everything's gonna be in a dungeon <laughs> an rpg there are some in the dungeon or roguelike or, yeah, yeah. roguelike <laughs> um and then blah 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 here's this discussion thread um or enable the community for this jam oh, oh baby he was he was getting beggy and there's a lot oh, a lot more stuff links to previous nice. um things previous jams yep and uh this okay actually let's go to I'm really craving a jam tart right now <laughs> i'm very very suggestive <laughs> or suggestible i guess would be suggestible very su okay, suggestible okay here we go so submissions actually we'll go three so here's all the submissions grogger the ones i listed out there they are it's 12 of them and uh like he said these are going to be put on cart and uh igor sent me this link today so this is the uh, oh the cart you can you can you can buy, buy. Oh, so all the people neat. who entered into the contest That's really get neat. a free cart nice um and if you didn't enter into the contest here is the way to order the cart so you can play these games on mm -hmm. your links if you don't have a multi-cart uh 24.99 us uh it's pre-order shipping mid february so check out the games tonight mm -hmm. if you like them here they are you can get them all in an official cart mm -hmm. right from uh, k retro cool um yeah so that is i think all the news so let's get into the games Yay! and uh i couldn't think of a better way so we're just gonna do them in alphabetical order excellent I think. I think that's how i have them ordered yeah However, However, should you feel like treating some cats right now, it would be a good time. It would be an excellent if time. If anyone is in the mood, we can save it for later, too. Hey, Carl G. Yeah? Or an XXX game. Yeah. Dungeon tile set. So Yay, Yay, RC70. Thank you. Time to bet on cats. Yes. Time to bet on cats. It is the cat catch? betting time. The cats are excited. Wait, whose alphabet? I'm afraid it's the English alphabet because that's the only one we Oh, have. yes. <laughs> Possibly the French uh, alphabet, too. Yeah, the French <laughs> alphabet would also work. Um, okay, here are the bets. The bets have started. Woo! Pick a cat, any cat. Pick well, a cat. One of these two cats. He's this, already trying to get at my hand. Ooh, this, Sprite is beggy. This is Sprite. Yeah, beggy, beggy black kitten here. <laughs> he is... Puss and bets time. Puss and bets. Puss and bets. These are the pusses. Yes. Yay. Uh, this is a fast eater, but he's easily distracted. Oh, oh, oh. This guy's a strong bell ringer, <laughs> but he's very uh, slow yeah. at eating. So those are strengths this and weaknesses. This guy is trying to lick them through my hands. So I don't know. Is I that... think you're going to have to get on the ground. Yeah. There you go. You have to go on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, he heard that. So let's... Hey, Miss Command. Thank you thank for you resubscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Oh, nobody goes on the Atari 3+. Plus. He's waiting patiently. He he's is. Waiting patiently. One to two for Atari. People he's... have a lot of hope in Atari. Oh, he's oh it's saving balancing his out. Yep. Oh, it's not Sprite. licking my hands, Sprite. you silly kitty. Sprite and Atari 1 2 are tied. Stop doing that. But somebody's betting Sprite 3 Plus. He yeah. dominated the last, the last game. He did. He, he did. destroyed. Yeah, so hit he did. predict at the top and pick your cat ah. and pick your amount. I have a cat in my lap and a laptop. You have a cat top. A lap cat. There you go. <laughs> One of those two things. Uh, someone said, maybe I can't bet via the Android app. Carl G. Could be. 
Uh, I haven't ever tried betting through the Android app. Anybody else? Android use? app? We use the Android app. We do, but I've never bet on anything. <laughs> No, it's I can't mm, I can't I've tell my own show. I've seen it in show. the chat, I think, but I don't know. Anybody That's else using the Android uh, Twitch platform and yeah. uh, betting? You got about thirty seconds left. Um, if you have ad blockers, maybe that would cause a problem People or something. Said that but as I mean, well. I don't think the apps on phones usually have those. I don't know. No, it's harder on phones. Yeah. but you can Hi. use a pie hole or something like that. Yeah, shut your pie hole, cats. <laughs> it's almost time. And three, two. One, it is time. Are you ready? Oh, oh, Sprite jumped up. And, oh, okay, in your corners. And go. go. Oh, oh, no. oh, it's oh, Sprite. Off sprite. Oh, Sprite. Oh, Atari close behind. One and oh, another oh, Sprite. God. Oh, man, he is wanting it today. Sprite is devouring Get on those your game. Oh, oh, that, that was, was Atari. Atari. Nope. That was sprite. sprite. Three, two, Sprite leading by one. And oh. now by two. Atari's got to catch up. He's Atari. That it is. Come on. Ring the bell. No, you're the missing The bell. It. The actual bell. Come on. Hit the bell, kitten. Come on. Ring your bell. <laughs> oh, Sprite. Oh, Sprite. There, there we you go. 5-3 for Sprite. He's now two ahead. And he's he's missing the bell. He's, he keeps he's, missing he's it. He's pawing it very gently. There oh. he goes. Oh, oh there's Atari. Atari. Still two ahead. Wow. And Sprite's getting distracted. As soon as I say his name, he he he, he breaks out. So yeah. try not to say his oh. name. There we go. Seven to five. Still, Tar, you got to catch up. You're you're keeping it even, but you gotta gotta go faster. Come on, ring it, Tar. There you go. Oh. Eight to six. Still two ahead. He's not into that three range. So we're in the one to two range right now for Sprite. And now he's in the three range, and it is game point. And that's it. There is no three ahead. So it's one to two at maximum for Sprite, and oh, it's over. Oh, and he gets it. No, it isn't. It's three. It did make it to oh, three. Oh, it did make it to three. Ten seven. Oh. That is it. So the people who bet wow, three Sprite. plus. Wow, you were good desperate. Kitty. He was good just kitty. swallowing them a hole there for a yeah. second. Going nuts. Good cat. Okay. Cats. So let's dole out the rewards. Let's see who got... All the monies, or all the channel points. Sprite 3 Plus. It looks like someone may have figured out the issue uh, of finding it in the Android app. Oh, it it's, is there? It's hidden, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's probably too big to put on the screen. Yeah. Right. So there Ooh. was three people. Cyrano Rebu. Yay. Got and two the others. biggest win, and he shares it with two other people. 17,000 channel points. <laughs> Nostalgic, please, Atari. Win just oh, one for me sometime. Oh, nostalgic is holding Atari, out hope. You'll do it. You'll do it. You'll I know do you it. Will. You were you you started <laughs> off good. And you bit my yeah, it's like, oh, you're tasty. You taste like treats. Uh, RC70 won the cost of treat time back and then some. There you go. There. Good investment. Good investment in the cats. Okay. Yeah, you so get let's that stinky cat food off my, get my hands. The links up and going. <laughs> Getting a cat bath here. And then a human bath. Hold on. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let me... Uh, I'll talk about what I've done to make this look better. Uh, once we get playing the games. So... Bowling Beast is not first, even though it's in the list first. Chunky font day. <laughs> yes. It is chunky Actually, font Actually, it's day. pretty awesome font. It's very readable font. I am quite enjoying What's that it font. A five across and one, two, three, four, five All down. All caps, too. I like it. Yep. I like it. Looks good. Okay. Chunky font day. Chunky font. Well, he's coming from a Jaguar, so everything's chunky <laughs> Every, fonts to him. Every, oh, true. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Chasm Warden okay. uh, by Igor Kroman. Okay. Igor. The, that is forward. That is back in the menu. There you go. Uh, so this build is from December 17th, 2023. It's a 32K <laughs> O game. Nice. Let me just adjust the volumes. Hero mode? Wimp mode. Hero mode? Ooh. Wimp mode. Hmm. Might be wimp mode to start, I think. And it may, I don't know if that's A and B. That I would think A and B. I think A is that. Are because, you sure? Because that's advanced. And that's... Don't. Look at, there's nothing there. Don't touch the button. 
Uh, Warden, prepare your bombs. The evil beasts are on the loose. D-pad to move the bomb. A to throw the bomb. Option two to music toggle. Well, we'll keep the music on this for now. So we'll know what A is very shortly. I'm pretty sure it's that. D-pad to move the bomb. A to throw the bomb. So Option Igor's, two. I Igor's also okay. made angry moats, chasm warden, egg saviors, crackleberry rescue, Santa's empty sack, Sybil's nightmare run, and zap. <laughs> Read out the instructions. You're the warden. You're armed with bombs. Your job, protect the world from the evil beasts trying to escape from the chasm. Luckily for you, chasm is surrounded by twisting and winding tunnel tunnels and tall walls. Throw bombs at the creatures to blow them up. Line up multiple of the same creature next to one another in the tunnel to blow them up together and get bonus points. Uh... Uh, in this game, you throw bombs at creatures to blow them up. Creatures spawn in the middle of the playfield, so they're climbing out of the little ladder there, uh, uh, and can and will move either up or down. When a creature is spawned, other creatures in front of it will move to make space. Creatures move one at a time until there's space for a creature to exit the chasm. If the creatures move in a zigzag pattern to stay between the walls of the playfield. If you line up multiple of the same kind of creature together, you can blow them all up with a single bomb and get bonus points. The more creatures you line up, the higher the bonus. Explosions only propagate along the tunnel. If there are two of the same creature on opposite sides of a wall, they will not blow up together. Uh, A or B to start the game. Uh, in hero mode, where a random number of creatures will already be in the tunnel. Looks like you start in hero mode. There's already creatures there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what's A? Is that A? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Let's throw the bomb. Okay, so we know what A is now. I thought it was A. Uh, pressing B will start the game in wimp mode. No creatures from the start. An instant bomb replenishment. Oh, it's quite different. Looks like you're handling it okay. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> well, you're keeping them at bay. So kind of like Zuma, but with bombs. Kind yes, of. that's true. The snaky thing. But, but in this one, there's two snakes. I was thinking it was a tower defense game to begin with. Ooh, is that four? No, because the walls separate them. Oh, okay. So there's a countdown to when you get the bomb. Come back. on, come on. Oh, it counts how many bombs. Oh, how did... Okay, let me watch this. So if you get one of those white ones, it'll blow them... Oh, I see. The ones in a row. But it, it pauses before you get... Another bomb. Very cool. Yeah, this is this is a lot like Zuma. Bomba! All caps, the titles are to be yelled aloud. Watching via hotspot. Internet outage. Oh no. That's well, never good. Hopefully your hotspot's working well. Boom, boom, boom. So you don't really get a Oh, I guess you could get rid of one so that two are together like yes, you did. Yeah. So that's the best way to do it otherwise you have to get the, the red two red ones individually so it's actually a faster way of doing it okay very clever this is really really cool there's a little guy that comes up every once in a while what is he it doesn't say anything about that in the instructions what the, the little guy at the no bottom. he's 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 putting the new guys out i don't know mm. no he puts out the new guys doesn't he mm, he shows up just as a new one Oh, uh, kind it's of. Cute. No, it doesn't quite coincide. He just comes up at regular intervals. But does he come up on one side or the other? He comes up in the middle, in the left. But you can kind of see his hair when the screen shakes. So he is always hiding down there. <laughs> Maybe he's doing like the dog in Duck Hunt. Yes, yes. Hey, Chow Stone Mal. This is on the links. This is Chasm Warden. So you can throw it at any of them, and it'll explode the whole line, yeah. right? It's getting a little bit more populated now. Now, if those two in the middle, like, if two are beside each other or beside the ladder, will it get both of those? Do you know? Beside the ladder? Yeah, it will. So there's a red on either side of the ladder? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
It's just the wall prevents the, the explosion. Wall. Yeah. yeah. By the looks of it. If you get that blue guy here, yep, you know what's going on. He doesn't seem to pop up when you do chains. He just seems to pop up at regular intervals. Yeah, it's just a little bonus thing. Too good at this game. <laughs> Playing on pro. It's, it's uh... It is filling up more, though. It's not hard, per se. No, it, it doesn't say whether the frequency of the monsters increases. Do you find it is increasing? It's move they're moving faster, I think. Okay. So the quality of the picture has increased immensely. If you look back at old videos or any previous video of us streaming links. Mm. Um and I just Figured that out accidentally. Ooh, those red ones. Um, yesterday, when I was hooking up this up and trying to get it going. Now, what I have now, uh, the links I have is modded with VGA out, so I have to turn VGA into something. And there's VGA to SCART adapters, and which is what I have. And a lot of the VGA to SCART adapters have an audio input, so that you know you can get all the RGB. It turns it into RGB. Um, VGA to RGB and inject the audio so it's all on SCART. And then the SCART goes into the upscaler. Now, before, when we're playing, every time a sound would be made on the screen, the screen would go all super crazy. Um, and it would go or go nuts and look terrible. Um, so in the meantime, what I had made in the past, say, month or so for the Atari 8-bit is because I could, I wasn't able to get stereo output through SCART. So I made a stereo SCART injector uh, that would get rid of the audio. Oh, that was a big one, eh? Mm -hmm. was, I missed it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, that would, I snapped off the pins or disconnected the pins on the input of the audio and uh, left and right on the SCART adapter. And what I've done is taken the audio out from the VGA VGA combiner to SCART and routed the audio into the SCART to SCART adapter and that has fixed it completely. There's no more screen craziness. Game audio staticky. Is it still staticky? Somebody was saying it was staticky before. Like on our end, it sounds fine. Wonder if we can hit Johnny Bravo down there with a bomb. Does he pop up? Oh, he does pop up high enough to hit him. That might be. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Oh, if it, if it because was clear. it's zero. No, it's zero. The bomb nut is zero. It has. It has to count. I have to oh, have a bomb he gives available. you the bomb. That's is that what, he what he's does. doing? Uh, That's what he does. That makes sense. The audio is clicky. I don't hear any audio from the game. Okay. You should be able to hear it. When we talk, the audio goes down, so it's not fighting. There's some sparks in the sound. Mm. Interesting. Now, does the sound um, sound overdriven to anyone? Like it's like it's turned up too high from the source. Not that I can do anything in this setup. There's no volume controls. Um, the game audio is low and static. -y. Should be quite decent when we're not talking. I can turn it up a little bit. Everybody's going to say it's too loud now. <laughs> too low for me to give a good listen. Oh, okay. Game audio is a little static, like TV snow when you have no signal, but not as continuous. As the static come in when uh, there is sound, 
like a, a louder sound in the audio, like <laughs> kind of like a loose connection or hardware feedback of some sort. I can't really explain it. Hey, friends. Hey, rendered ghost. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll I'll have to listen back. <laughs> Sounds like a rusty audio port that needs twisting. Definitely glitchy. Maybe clipping. <laughs> yeah, because that kind of sounds like clipping. If it, if the static, yeah, peaking. If the static goes along with the sounds, that means it it could be more along with the uh, along with peaking, because it's like hitting a, a, a maximum. Oh, what it could be, actually, is my filter. It's my compression filter. Oh, you know what? Probably is. You know what? I can do something about that. Actually, I can do a lot about that. Okay. Tell me if it sounds like it sounds better now. No, it doesn't sound any better. No difference. Oh, okay. I was hoping it did because I had the gain on the compressor up to 20, which was like, okay, maybe it's too high. Let's see if I can find some other some other thing on here. On the compression. Uh, that's not gonna do it. Threshold is negative 30. Check, 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 check. It might be the game. I don't know about that. Check. Check. How is it now? No set time to play each game. Oh, it's the big one. Oh my God, you've cleared it. Almost. I, I, <laughs> you've we, cleared one we... side. Oh my God. Almost. I think I think you've destroyed this game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just keeps going. I suppose there is a way for you to clear it entirely, but it's not. I think it needs easy. a super pro level because <laughs> you're dominating. No, it. but I'm not. I, I I do. I have to get it completely cleared. I don't know. Uh, is your compressor set with no attack? Ooh. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's at 20 milliseconds, which is quite low. I can. Um, Set that up to a hundred. Check, check. I did hundred so hundred's too too much. Let's go to fifty. Didn't she choose the wimp mode? You pressed that top button, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she pressed A, and it did start with things on the screen, and that's what the pro mode said it does. That's worse now? worse same same or worse more crackly well that's actually a good sign um because that affected something so let's take the attack down to zero so the attack is attack is down to zero basically clipping constantly now how is it now i've taken the attack down to zero Maybe the compressor plugin is just terrible. Shouldn't be though. So many people use this. Pretty crackly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set it back to how it was and just turn it down. Set it up to 10. Uh, check, check, check. Okay, we're gonna move on. Okay. Tanya has, has beaten this game. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's cool, though. Just keeps going. Okay. Is there crackles right now? Okay, don't press anything. 
any crackles right now because there's no sound coming out from the links because we're in the menu uh the next game is dungeon Dun Dun really. Dun uh, by Paul Lay. Playsoft. Uh, don't start it quite yet. All good. Okay, so it is. No. 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 What? <laughs> no. No crackles or no? It's not good. Cra uh, Carrie sounds good from your side. We sound good. Oh, we sound good. Yeah. No crackles. Yeah. So it's the game. It's so the it's sound. definitely the game. That's yeah. good. Okay. That's good now. Trying to figure it. So out. it coincides with the game sound. Okay. Mm. Okay. Load this one up. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna, that's a good thing to work on. Okay. Um, so this is 33KO game. Uh, Paul Lay has made so many games. So many Atari 8 bit games. He's also made Lynx games. Uh, also made 5200 games. Yep, crackle uh, skin. Le crackle. Le crackle. Uh, new crackles. New crackles. Oh no. New updated crackles. Yeah. Like, is it, is it... Crackles version 2.0. <laughs> is it, like, super, super crazy annoying? Oh, you know what? There is a volume control. I'm so stupid. The Lynx has a volume control. It was cranked to maximum. Ah. So this might actually... Help? Help a ton. Like, a ton. Thank you, everyone, for helping me figure this out. Because when you turn up something that's already cranked, yeah. it's going to crackle. Uh, okay. So now it's about halfway down. Yeah, push the button. Uh, yeah, this is a straight up shooter. You can hold it down for auto fire. Avoid the axes. This is like a dungeon side shooter. Ah! Still crackles. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down even more. Still crackles? Any improvement on the crackles, at least? <laughs> Are they better crackles? <laughs> oh. Now it's at about a quarter. Crap, that's a lot of arrows. It is. Oh, he can move forward. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I, I just... Calibrate with clax or rampart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's at about a quarter output from the Lynx, which is still plenty of audio. Seems to be better. Oh, excellent. This might be the solution. Better! Yay! We've got some confirmation of better. Okay, that was completely on the end of the Lynx. If you crank something and amplify the cranked thing, yeah, it, all the issues are there. All the issues. Okay. Dun, Dungeddon, Dungeddon is Armageddon in a dungeon. A simple horizontal shoot em up for the Lynx Jam 2023. Armed with your sacred bow and miraculously infinite supply of holy arrows, nice. you must fight against the advancing hordes from hell for as long as you can. Move with the D-pad and fire with either A or B button. You can auto fire by holding the button down. You have three lives in total. The game is split into a two-minute rounds, which culminate with a boss fight. Oh, there's a boss fight at the end of this? Oh, boss oh, fight. Uh, when you complete a round, your firepower automatically increases. Now quieter crackles. Okay. <laughs> well, at least they're quieter. That's better. I mentioned the volume on the links uh, from the headphone jack earlier, I thought. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. He's legolassing. Imagine having to press a fire button for individual arrows. Oh, yeah. There, that's what bugs me in um, uh, shoot 'em ups, where it's like you can put lots. Oh, boss. Awesome. You can put lots of bullets on the screen, but you have to press for each individual bullet. So everybody just constantly presses. It's like, well, just help, help save our wrists and just give us auto fire. If there is limited bullets. Yay, oh. come! Oh, that was... Oh. oh! Oh! I just wasn't... Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh, they're so funny. Oh! Oh, they're jumpy. Oh, this is so cute. It is so cute. It's such a great twist on a shoot 'em up Yeah! Like sluggies or snails. They've, they've got a shot. So, if you notice, um, there, there was a thread in the Lynx forum 
about um, variable refresh rate on the Lynx. Because on the Lynx, on its built-in original screen, yeah. the uh, screen has a variable refresh rate. Gotcha. If it has one frame to display, it'll display that one frame until it gets a new frame to display. If it's got 60 frames to display, it'll do 60 in a row. There is a limit. And somebody in the forums made a program. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, you should definitely shoot them when they come out. <laughs> so many of them. Wow, they've even got patterns. They've this got is patterns. so cool. <laughs> you want to play? Oh, yes. yes. This is a game ah. I want to play. Ah. Um, so people were discussing how the variable refresh rate works with the modern screens. And people were saying they are seeing tearing on the screens. Oh. There's two different screens that you can upgrade to. And that is very relevant to my interests as a streamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because as you can see, every once in a while, every- I got a new, I got another life. I'm oh. what happened. Every about 10 seconds, two, three, ah. four, uh, five, six seconds, you can see some tearing in the screen. And it, you'll see it mostly along the top, just under the hearts is like a line that goes down the screen. Almost like when you're filming a CRT. Mm -hmm. That's because this screen, this upgrade, and the VGA out, locks the Lynx video output at a constant frame rate, just under 60 frames a second, which is what you would want. But it also doesn't, <sighs> doesn't kind of upscale kind of lock lock it in thank you for series subscribing oh God, for subscribing peak b yeah awesome Woo! sorry shifted about a pixel ahead of the rest for the lower half for me mm. Mm. um and you start the game by shooting that guy it's so awesome mm. the tension to detail in this is so so good I, I love it i love it yeah the backgrounds look good i love all the monsters i guess this is part of the tile set they got but uh yeah that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Um, so there is tearing. Uh, there it's is a little unavoidable. Bit. Mm. Um, unless the net, unless there's another um, screen that does VGA output that will handle the variable, the, the variable refresh rate, or the screen will pass the variable refresh rate on through the VGA output and the upscaler will take care of it because the RetroTINK 5X can handle variable refresh mm. rates and then change it to a constant refresh rate or pass it onward? I'm not sure, but it can deal with variable refresh rates. Um, but this outputs a, a tear in the video and there's nothing anything any upscaler can do about fixing tears ivory tower says the original lcd was so early tech that it couldn't be noticed yeah <laughs> that could be too it's so yeah. mushy mushy Ooh, that was that was dangerous mushy mushy is how you answer the telephone in japan mushy 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 not mushy mushy but close Mushy, mushy, mushy. Mushy, mushy. It sounds like mushy, mushy. It does sound like mushy, mushy. There was, um, there's a, um, movie. What is it called? Um, anyway, there's a lot, there's a Japanese movie, um, and where there's a kidnapping. So they're on the phone a lot, and they answer the phone a lot. Yeah. So they say mushy, mushy so <laughs> much in that film. Um, uh, it's so funny. So that's why I know. Probably how, how all Americans and North Americans know that term from watching yeah. Japanese media and <laughs> yeah. movies. Because it's 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 a doubled up word. That's why. Well, it, it, it's, it's, so it's so distinctive too. It is. Yeah. Die. Oh, you're stuck, are you? Well, well I he'll will, move down eventually. I will take advantage of that. Yeah. Oh, it takes quite a few bullets to yeah. kill. He Those does. axes are really close together. Oh, they're yeah. Maybe I should. Hmm. When I start shooting, should I? Oh, there you go. There Got him. Don't touch my moustache. <laughs> <laughs> my moustache. So you died in this second wave? Uh, the second boss. Se oh, you he hit me twice boss? right away. I was like, oh. ah! Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't dodge his, his axes very well. Is he much more difficult? I don't think so. I think okay. they were just, yeah. I 
just didn't dodge them well. As you as you've noticed, they come very quickly. And so. and also very um, yeah, not much room between to to dodge dodge between mm -hmm. them. Ooh. We're feeling too well no, today. No, I have that's, migraine. That's Woke she, up in the middle of the night, so oh, she's sleepy. I'm a little I'm a little out of sorts, unfortunately. Yeah. Barely good enough for the show. It's like 10% brain function, I would say. 10% <laughs> oh, uh, no. About, about. Functioning pretty good on 10%. What's, well, what's not normal? bad. <laughs> no, normal, 20? well, yeah, normal is 20. <laughs> yeah, no, it just, it is what it is. Cats are very, very um, comforting, though. Oh, they They've help been cuddling with me all day. Oh. Yes, you have good kitties. They have the perfect purring frequency to heal, to heal all wounds. To heal your headaches, yes. Yes. There was something. And the perfect stinky breath to exacerbate oh, it. Oh, yes. poor yeah. stinky cats. <laughs> poor stinkers. No, no, you're a good kitties. They deserve their treats. Yes, they do. Do they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they do. Where's the second boss? He's coming. Got to kill a lot of things before you get to that boss. <laughs> you do. He's got a lot of minions protecting, protecting his lair, you know? What would make this, I mean, this is awesome. What would make this better um, is that the enemies, I don't know, um, power-ups and you start well, weaker. Well, if, if, if their shots were different, because it seems that the axe throwing is very similar. And, and oh, yes. The enemies all have patterns, if they had b different but they bullets. just have one bullet, right? Yes. So, um, but I think it. I think even in your description, it was meant to be a very simple. Shooter, they are right. I mean, they only people only have a couple weeks to make the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So you can't like this is amazing yeah. for two weeks. And it doesn't really feel like things get harder. No. It's just they change. You get all oh, 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 cute different enemies. Super cute. This looks like more axes now. Yeah, that maybe was the a lot axes, more axes. Like the, the the pacing of the enemies and the your movement isn't changing, but there do appear to be more axes as well. Collectible power-ups for a big kill em all second yes, button attack. Yeah, second button yes. attack. That's definitely like I hope they Oh, those are nice. Oh, what are they? Like <laughs> Dinosaurs? Salamanders dinosaurs? And dinosaurs in pants? Dinosaurs. No, it's like a loincloth almost. A loincloth. Dinosaurs in banana hats. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Carl G. Three weeks impressive. Yeah, it is dinosaurs. I see somebody has the little. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it does look like that. Dancing guy. icon. Okay. I think the axes are coming at sharper angles, no pun intended, says Nostalgic. That does make it yeah. harder. I do feel like there are more coming too. It is increasing. It's not getting any harder though i haven't lost one life but i hope uh the people who made these games for the jam continue on developing them oh, especially this one oh. it needs to be harder though much harder or this can be the easy level and uh the enemies the axes need to be faster and the enemies need to be faster maybe or more of them like you really um, get swamped with them or they need to be hit more than one time. Oh, possibly. That, that, would, would, that, that would, would make it good. a lot harder. Yep. It's pretty cute. I love all the all the monsters. Oh, I know they're in the tile set, probably, but uh, Oh, we didn't cute. look at the tile set. That's something we forgot Oh, we can do. do that. We can do that. Do later. that at the end. Yeah. I'm going to see what, what you what. Okay. I'm going to move on to the next game. Okay. Yeah. Keeps going. Yep. Amulets, potions, treasure chest. Yes. Yes. That's what you need. Lots of stuffs. Throw a couple of mimics in there that attack you. <laughs> nice. What, and goes. you have to fight yourself at some point. Uh, Escape from Dungeon Deja Vu by Bjorn Na. Uh, this one's from December 17th. It's a 16K. Uh, Escape from Dungeon. Yep. That was the one. screen's moving. It's like I just got off a treadmill. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Oh, because it's... Yeah. <laughs> It's like you're I having just... problems. Oh my god! No, no, it's like moving, and I'm like, oh, because because the screen kept moving uh, so, all the way through. <laughs> uh, story, no time to story. You have to run. Gameplay: control the knight and avoid the spikes as long as you can. Controls: just use up and down arrows to move the knight. That's the extent of it. Have we not played this before? These are all new, all brand new. I Is there jumping? No. Nope. Just up and down, and that's it. Dodge. Dodge him. 
Can you go left and right? Have you nope. tried left and right? No, up and down. Okay, just like it says. So there's spikes, but if you notice, this is parallax. A very slight parallax is happening oh. as you can see it more on the it's bottom. It's very nice. It looks very good. Yep. Hey, calm down. Uh, in a dungeon, there should be amulets, potions, treasure chests, increase enemy speed or increase shot speed, make enemies take two or three hits of damage. Yes. Because I was shooting them and it was killing them pretty much as soon as it came on the screen, which made it oh, too slow. Too close. My turn. You made it 2,856 frames. Or whatever it was, yeah. Yeah. Jump, jump. There's no jumping. You want to jump, but he can't. That's funny. He counts it in the, frames. Um, the um, the weight of his armor is just too heavy for him to jump up. Yeah, he can't jump. He can't jump very high. No. Although you would think the the armor would protect him from this place. You would. Oh, maybe his feet. Pretty, pretty his feet aren't protected. He's forgotten his armor for his feet. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I think yeah. That might be it. Soles of the feet are yep. protected. He's, he's jumping quite daintily. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Like you had a hard one to go through. It was one tile well, wide. Well, I, I think they do get tighter as you go across. Yeah. Is it the same? Hmm. I think it's random. Yeah, is it random? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's so hard. Is it Parallax? You're just making excuses for the tearing. Uh, both. <laughs> no, it is parallax. You can you can see it. It starts at quite an angle and ends up pretty much straight up and down by the time it reaches uh, the left hand side. If you look at the, actually, so, if you look at the whole oh, thing. Oh, how, oh, what? How? 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 Oh no! How? So I just I want to try yeah, something. Yeah, that's that's an issue. There should be at least one tile. So that's dead. Ooh. So it's where the feet are. I just wanted to confirm. And not even like touching so, the spikes. You're touching when you touch the edge of the tile. I don't think you can even get through even a one, a Y. So is that okay? That is yes. okay. Okay. Is the bottom it's, of the feet? It's the bottom of the feet. Terrelax. Ah, Kev is full of puns. <laughs> no jump. No. I don't think it's possible to get through a single square opening. Oh, I have. Did you? I swear I did once. A single. Yeah. From one to one. Yeah. Going through both. But it ones. might depend on... Like that top one. Yeah. Because you died. I died on it, but I swear there was one that I did get through. I, I can't remember now. Brings but... a tear to the eye. Can you go slower? No. It says no left and right. You're stuck in that spot. No. See, because you die when you hit that, but you'd also but die... But I went up. The but last time I went up, yeah. But you'd also die if you went down too early. And you have no time in between. Hey! Are you sure you went through one? I, I want to say, but I went up through one. Mm. I don't know. You can try it. I don't think you can touch anything about the... Okay, you might be able to if you're super fast because you're slightly smaller than a tile. So it might be like super precision movement. Like you have to be right on the... Yeah. Okay, you can. Okay. Yeah. But it has to be very, very precise. But the one you ran into where there's no, there's no path. Oh, well, yeah, that was, a, that was diagonal. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. So, so that needs to be fixed. Yeah. If, if, they're continuing to make well, continue on, continuing just, on with this it's game. It's just random. Sometimes uh, you lose. <laughs> no, you can do checks. Sometimes you lose. You can erase. Like uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> no way. It's just that's the end. Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> nice. Uh, very, very cute. Very, very cute. cute. Uh, maybe a if they're gonna put those things in a jump would be good. Or do a check so that there is a space. Always. Yeah, there has to be at least one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next one is Final Melee. Uh, this is by uh, Gisberto Ronan. 
Rondinella, Nop 90. Uh, this build's December 15th. It's a 44k game. Ooh. And. Very nice. Uh, this game is not completely Ooh. tested. It could not be possible to beat the stronger enemies. Uh, especially the dragon and the final evil wizard. But you can try. You can try. Give the only try. thing I had no time to add was the ability of the dragon and the evil wizards to cast spells. I'll add that in a future release. So he's going to continue on with this. Uh, with a lot of other improvements. The controls to select the enemies and objects in the inventory are messed up. Mm. Uh, the change of position in the next selected item's monster is not coherent with the arrow keys, but pre pressing several times the same key, you can rotate all possible options. So the game is playable. I'll try to fix this in a future release. My main language is not English, and with age, my vision is declining, mostly for the hours spent at late night coding on my laptop. There you go. So please forgive my bad English and all the typos I left in the text. And there is quite the instructions. So I think we'll... It's a great title screen. So that's A to start. It's the final melee. <laughs> it's a gamma dev. Oh, look at all those cute things. Avada, oh, oh, I guess that was a spell. Elf drops to level zero. Drops to zero. Oh no, you're all at level oh, zero. No. And all your friends died. Well, at least you have weapons. And we're fighting the slime. Level zero slime. So, that, wait, wait. So we've got hit points three, mana zero, speed three out of ten, experience zero. Yeah. So we've got attack, use, magic, and pass. So, don't pass. Probably attack? Use? Well, we've got an arrow. Oh, okay, so you can attack with um, a melee weapon, or you can use an arrow. Yeah, but he's right He's in right front. next to him, mm. so I would attack. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that guy. Oh, oh my god, you're almost dead. <laughs> yeah, he should have used his arrow. Um, attack, use magic. Oh, or cure. Oh, oh, did, I guess it killed him? Or he moved so. back. And now I'm hurt too. Oh my god, the slime is deadly. The game is about a war in a classical fantasy Blobs. world against, against an evil wizard. Yes, I've read all the Tolkien books in my youth. But when all the armies of the world are going to destroy the wizard, left without magic powers after a long fight, he uses a dark power to drain all the vital energy and magic powers from his enemies. Only the three stronger heroes of the world can resist the attack. But they remain weak, like young apprentices. A mage, an archer, and a warrior. Could they survive without their magic weapons and all the experience gained in years of adventure? The wizard will use drain energy to summon creatures and attack the three survivors, but he needs time to control the new power so it can just use a little at the beginning, but his ability will increase with time. On the other hand, killing the attacking creatures will make uh, will return some of the energy to the three fighters. Oh, you've got all your energy back. What happened? Did you die? Thunder. Arrow. Shoot that guy. Yay! Kill him. Um, the game turns are time-based. Oh. Every character monster has to wait some time, depending on his speed, to make an action. The player controls three characters. Each one has four characteristics. Hit points, number of damage the character can take. That's normal. Mana points. With one mana, the character attacking can cast a fire spell. So you have zero. Um, oh, my mana's all gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, two mana can heal himself or a companion. Three mana, he can cast a spell to freeze an enemy. Uh, for a small amount of time, he'll move slower. Casting a spell reduces the available mana, but passing a turn will recover one mana. So you can pass and get a mana back. Uh, speed value affects the time one character has to wait every turn. The higher value, less time to wait. So it is real time, but turn-based at the same time, if that makes sense. Melee weapon, but melee combat. That's how we pronounce it. Mm. I work with someone that played RPGs and D&D their entire life, grew up in the US, no accent, said so they pronounced me Lee, me Lee. I've always wondered about that. I've heard it both ways. Melee? Melee or me melee weapon. Melee. Melee sounds like a melee bug. Yeah. Like a melee. Like, oh, like this, melee. This, this is... apple tastes very melee. Yeah. <laughs> I like, think that's know, why I like melee, but uh, melee. I've, I have heard it both ways. I have too. Yeah. yeah. Um, exp 
uh, experience points grows one every time a character Excuse me. kills an enemy. Some powerful enemies can give more. So you've got two experience. Jeez. Is that for the whole party? My or mana is... It, oh, well. Is that mana for the whole party? Or is... I don't know. My mana's gone, though. No, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can pass a turn to get one. And then you can... You have to have two to heal somebody, though. When a character's turn, he or she can select one of the following actions. Change the position from the front line to the back line. So you can move back. If you have a weak person that's almost dying, you can move them to the back. How do you do that, sir? Um, Pass? No? No, it's not in the options yet. So maybe that's going to be in the future. Uh, select one of the four menu actions. Attack. Selectable only from the front line. Seems only front line right now. Maybe the front and back came come in later. Uh, use uh, available objects. Warriors have a small sword, a shield. Um, elf can use a bow, throw an enemy, throw to, throw an arrow at an enemy. Um, uh, all the characters have potion and spells. Some can be used against the enemies. Others upon companions. So there is heal spells. Have you mm -hmm. used a heal spell? Yeah. Magic can use to be cast a spell. To be cast a spell, cure can hand, heal a uh, companion, others against enemies. Pronounce it hand to hand. <gasps> oh no, he died! Oh, resurrect! <laughs> Magic! Use! Healing potion! That's fire. Yeah, haste it. Oh, you don't have heal. Maybe the other person does. Or. Oh, you can see the wizard go. Here's two more. Oh, uh, maybe this guy is, uh, oh, no. no mana. You have to, you'd have to pass twice, and then you get two mana, then you can heal a person. Oh, you have to pass twice? Yeah. Yeah, but these guys don't have mana, only my, I assume my wizard has mana. Uh, it doesn't say it's limited. It doesn't say that uh, only the wizards can use it, so. <laughs> That's like using WW to say World Wide Web, which is half the syllables. WWW is so many syllables. Uh, I haven't found. Please tell me it was a po potion. Oh, do you get all your health back every time yeah. you defeat? Oh, okay. Oh, so any of those heal? I think so. Cure! Cure death? No. No oh, effect! No. What a waste! <laughs> oh, no. I shouldn't have let him die, but it's too late now. Maybe they're dead forever? Let's see. Kill the wizard to win the game. Okay. So you have to make it through all their minions first. Each character can have 15 items of each kind. The air elf can have up to 40 arrows. Each, each time every enemy is on the screen killed, the wizard summons more and more powerful enemies. At some point, after a very long battle, he will join the battle. Oh, what did they it say? Flagged it. It, it, it just flagged its Kev's comment because they thought it was a post, like they, someone was putting a oh, website. Oh, yeah, website. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. So, so apparently someone does say worldwidewebamazon.com. <laughs> oh my At God. At least it was recognized. So there's Cure Potion, Fire Potion, can heal a character making recovery of all the hit points, but it didn't work. Cure Potion. Yeah. That's not good. I think when they're dead, they're dead. Oh, he's dead now. Oh my god. Oh no! Look at their face. It's like I have no I'm desanguinated. I love that word. Desanguinated? Lost yes. all, all the, the blood. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> what if you're running Netscape when you're Atari SD? Thank you for following. Don't eat the squid. Don't eat the squid. <laughs> um yeah, I think we've figured it out. There's a haste scroll. Raise the speed of a character so you can do double hits. Have you been using your potions? Uh, they're all gone. The guys are dead, so it's not oh. like I can access. <laughs> True. So this is uh, like the game Tanya plays all day long, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> yes, this is pretty a much. Scale down Scale version. down Baldur's Gate, yes. Yay. To hit. Yeah, so you have to manage the health of your uh, companions much better than I did in that go-through. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to start it again? 
Well, we can if you want. I mean, yeah. they're almost dead, or we just can just go see pass, them die. Pass, pass. Just go pass, pass, pass. Let's just have them die. Because this, this looks really cool. <laughs> Welcome, don't eat the squid. You lost. Okay, oh, we all die. Okay. You want to play or you want? No, you can, you can play. Okay. It's very straightforward. God's second favorite fruit. <laughs> God's second favorite princess. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hi. Skip, skip. We've seen it. It's cool. Have a cadevra. Uh, oh, level zero. Level zero. Could the Lynx the console run Lynx the text based browser? Why not? <laughs> you have to scale down the fonts. Hi. Oh, there's a little fluffy case. Yeah, there's, there's a. A cartridge for internet for the links, right? There's Is there? the, there's a FujiNet for Fuji links. FujiNet, yeah, something like that. Can somebody mm -hmm. confirm that? I don't have one. Um, so manage their health. Everybody's at full health now, so I should attack. Well, no. So that guy. I can use eight arrows. You can use your arrows. I think they have different strength. <gasps> oh, that's how you move back and forth. How? Left and right. So if somebody's gonna die, you just oh. go to the back. And then you can heal them, and then they can come back forward. If you go back, can you, you have to shoot your arrow? Uh, arrows, probably, but not melee. <laughs> melee. So I'm going to attack, right? Melee. Yes. Melee weapons. Melee. Look, 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 there's no health. So I should heal that person, because they're going to die in the next hit. Well, no, because at the end of the round, they regain their health. Uh, okay. It's But yeah, but they'll also get hit. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out. So, should I attack? I don't usually attack with a magic. I usually cast a spell, but... Okay, so magic, fire. Oh, destroyed. We didn't get all our... No, because oh, he, 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 he hasn't he hasn't taken his turn yet. Yay. Attack. Nothing left to heal them. No cure? What? Oh, I have cure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as long as they don't die. You have to pay attention to who you're playing, too. There you go. Bounce, 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 mm -hmm. bounce. That's very cute. So if I attack that guy, is he too far away? Is that why I'm missing? Well, yeah, I think you have to use the arrow, don't you? No, I can't use magic. It's all done. Well, yeah, you have to pass twice, right? So you want to pass with him to get your uh, mana back? And dead. Okay, well that didn't work. And he had. I'm very confused. He had full I'm health, very didn't confused. he? He did. Well, that because there was two so you, guys. Oh, they both you had hit to him. move back before you pass, because he's right in front. He's in the front line, right? Oh. I'm guessing it depends on where the enemy is. Oh yeah, yeah. He can't hit you, but if you're in the front line, so you probably had to move back oh, before you pass. I can't hit him when he's Restart it. Back. Restart. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take a while because you heal every turn. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you play. Oops. Escape? Final melee. Final, final melee. They all say dungeon in them, so. <laughs> dungeon this, dungeon that. I love how they bounced into Cape Turn. Me too. Bounce, 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 bounce. Super like cute. It. It's Very like the cute. easiest yeah. way to animate something is bounce it up and down. Oh, they're all dead. No. Sanguinated. No, it is sanguinated. Actually, can't tell with the night. I like the term defenestrated. That's a great term That's as well. That's a fantastic term. Through the window with you, cat. Yes. So I could move him back. But why? Oh, we can only pass. So you have to move back and, and then pass. Because it's you're taking a turn. It's an elegant way to show that you've taken a turn. Yeah. Nice. So he's. He didn't. He didn't get all his. Um, no, no, back. it hasn't been the end of. Th all three of them have to go through and then their they their turn. Heal. Oh, okay. So. Crackles with no game. Spell hmm. failed. Crackles with no game. That is very interesting. Thank you, Vitoko. 
Prediction, within two years there will be a Lynx RPG with this as the battle system. That would be super cool. Killed. Oh, your guy's low health. He will die if he doesn't get cured. You can use magic to cure him. Oh, no. Probably only have one. Is one of those a cure? Yes. That better be... Oh, that's it? That's it? You get a quarter of your health? Oh, my God. Well, it's still there. Well, at least you get your health back every time. On the power-up or the console reset. Okay. Could be interference. Could be the cable. But, I mean, on a reset, crackling is, like, that's okay, I guess. Because there's power surging through and all of that. Power is turning on. But it is an indicator of, like, where the crackling is coming from. Might be like a cable that's not super great. Let's make sure this is... I'm gonna move it. Tell me if it's crackling when I move it. Did it make a ton of t ton of crackles there when I moved the cable? I mean, I can do all this troubleshooting offline. <laughs> uh, uh, headphone jack, jack for the audio out, and that's being interpreted as a line out. Line in. So, headphone jack to line in. Which should be similar impedance? Because it's not amplified. It's going from an unamplified... No, that is amplified, isn't it? So it should be turned way down. These headphones are, are amplified. It's pretty brutal, like wizardry and similar games, but I'm enjoying the first one so far. Monster cables are a scam! They're very expensive for no reason. Picture is flickering with the audio. Uh, way less than it was before. Wow. It used to flicker like mad with the audio. Now it, yeah, I did see it flicker again. It seems to be fine now. I, think. I can see it. I can see it going in and out. That's very interesting. Hmm. It's when the wizard came in. The 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 colors changed. They seem to be steady right now. Hard managing everything. No, I'm I'm getting the hang of it. I'm the the where the uh, monster is does affect what will hit them. Oh. So. And those those um skeletons can only be hit by fire. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It has no information about that mess. Try unplugging and plugging the headphone cables times. It's a good idea. Ow! I mean, it's only a 30-year-old system. Actually, the bow and arrow works on the um, skeletons, skeletons too. But not attacks too well. Could actually turn down the links even more. It might help. Oh, he killed him! Oh no! Oh, hey, Pseudographics. Welcome, welcome. Now you're down to two guys. Oh, no. There is no cure for death. <gasps> There's there cure is for cure death. for death. Oh. <laughs> it didn't work last time. Maybe I was so hitting the wrong button. Who knows? No, I think it's maybe random. Like, it sometimes is. it fails. Sometimes it fails. That would oh, make sense. Oh, that's good. Because I was thinking, that's too much to have somebody just die and just sit there. Was only resting. Was only... Was just tis a scratch. Just, yeah, exactly. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, oh there's a slug. Oh, sluggy. So the tile set's probably pretty big because we saw the slug in the other game too. We saw all these. Oh boy, whatever just happened. Hit you hard. Oh my god. Oh, slash, slashed by the slime. Get your hit points back quite quick. Nice. <laughs> Salt it. Salt that slug. <laughs> so are you getting more enemies now? Oh my yes. god, your knight has no health whatsoever. I don't know what's happening with him. <laughs> Cure him. Cure him. Cure him? Yeah, he's gonna die. Uh, I guess you're right. He has no health. So somehow he's like... Oh gosh. Well, that's better. Now he's gonna die. Well, don't have many hit points to get back, so of course it's fast. That's true. So experience 9 out of 12. So you're uh, 6 out of 12 for this person. So I'm guessing at 12 out of 12, that's when you fight the big guy. Hey, what are you doing? A bug or something. <laughs> he just pawed the wall and then chewed whatever he pawed off the wall. It's our bug catchers. Oh, <gasps> no! Just before healing. Heal! You have zero mana. No! That's a heal, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you randomly get them? Like. Yeah, you oh. find them randomly, yeah. Okay. Cute game. It is very, very cute. cute. You haven't run into any bugs. It said there was, like, lots of bugs. What did it say? about the bugs. The controls to select the enemies and the objects in the inventory are messed up. The change of position of the next item is no, not coherent with the arrow keys. For pressing several times can rotate through it. So you're finding that sometimes it doesn't move properly? Yeah, mana raised. Ooh. Oh, mana raised. Oh, I see zero out of zero. So some, one out of two. Your hit points are abysmal still. Two, out of two, two maximum. One has three hit points. Though. But he has zero experience. Does he not hit anything? Oh, he's got mana. Nice. I don't know. <gasps> four guys. Is that the first time you have four many. guys? It's too many. It's too many. Are we, are we continuing? No, I think okay. we'll stop here. Okay. You're doing very well now. Nice. Next Autos one. irresistible. Yes, Cyrenel likes his Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Just cast <laughs> Autos irresist oh. irresistible dance. Yum, yum, yum. The brain is mushy today. Oh! Speeding time for little kitties! Atari is debugging. <laughs> <laughs> He's debugging. He's de oh. debugging in the background so there. So clever. Yeah. Okay. What are these? Time for treats again. Is it time? Let's start the prediction. Place your bets, everyone, on the cats. Those are quite discordant. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay, kitties. Now, what's the plan here? Now, you were doing very well. Yeah. You got to do much better. Yeah, you got to get on your game. A I game, Atari. I think A for Atari. your problem was hitting the bell last time. Yeah. You got to get it right on the dinger. Yeah. Eyes okay. on the bell, kitty. Yep. Yeah. Sprite, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing fine. You did hit one off course. Yeah. But, so, but put your bets. Just one. Puss and bets time. Puss and bets. Place your bets on which cat? Let's yeah. see. Cat, cat coaching. coaching. We're just trying to, we're just trying to, you know, make lift them the them best, up. the best cat lift they can be. Get, you know, get, get their, um, get them enthusiastic about the bell. That's right. Yes. So Sprite. Yeah. One to two. Not surprised. Pick a cat. Everybody's on one to two for yeah. Sprite. Got a couple. Oh, yeah. three plus Big Atari. Big bet on Atari. Big bet on a three plus Atari. Yeah, Atari. People have faith. They yeah. have faith. They think you're going to have a rebound yeah. on the second go. Keep your go. eye on the bell. That's right. That's Just your don't... problem right now. I try as much as possible to hide my hands because <laughs> they'll stare at the treats. Uh... So you almost have to hide the treats so that they pay attention to the bell. Now your eating was good last time. 
like the speed of, nope hey hey pay attention your speed of eating was good yeah <laughs> it was the bell ringing that you were failing on yeah and you've been very good in the past at the bell ringing so you got to combine the two <laughs> so he's got 30 seconds left there's bets all across the board yeah which is great submissions closing in 20 seconds actually what was the, what was the outcome of the poll before it disappears oh uh, I don't have a links, 39%. Well, maybe this <laughs> well, troll can convince you. Well, that means that 60% of people do have a links, so that is a kind yep. of nice. And in second place, okay. uh, no mods. Hi. Hi. Uh, third place, uh, mods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To the screen. Are you ready? And VJ output. Are we are ready? ready? We are ready. Okay, okay let's do goals. it. Yeah. Are you ready too? Both your cats? Maybe put them... Okay, guys, get back. Get back that way. And then maybe put them a little further forward. Okay, here we go. There oh, we go. Atari, right out the gate. Sprite close behind. Who's next? Who's a good mutterer? Oh, there oh, we go. Atari? Might be a better placement for Atari. Sprite. Soft pawing it. There, there you go. go. Atari is ahead currently right now by just a tiny bit. Oh, oh that was and Atari. Oh, it. Oh, Sprite? Sprite close behind. It is a tie right now. Oh. It's very, very close. Oh, Sprite's already eaten it. Atari, get your get head in the game. Sprite, Sprite gets Sprite another one? Sprite has now surpassed you. There we go. Atari? Four, four. He's tied it up, but Sprite's just, is just Sprite's, way he's faster just so at eating fast. it. Come on, Atari. There oh, you go. Big oh. stretch. Big stretch. And he got it though. He batted it away under the couch, but he was able to get it pretty quickly. Oh, he's back to the bell. And oh, he's got Atari! It. Atari's taking the lead. It is six five for Atari. And oh, Sprite's, Sprite got that one. He's got it. Now it's six all. This is a very close race. The coaching did help. There oh, you go. Atari's in the lead. Seven six. He he's he's his bell ringing has improved quite a bit. Oh, oh, Sprite. Sprite. And come on. Come on. Hit the belt. There, there you go. go. Good. Atari's solidly in the lead now. Yeah. About one ahead. One ahead. Yeah, but. Oh, come oh on. there's Sprite. Sprite's tied it up. Atari, bring it up to game point. Come on. Oh, there we go. Atari. It is game point for Atari. Oh, Sprite, is Sprite. so close. It's Who's the, next? It's the first to the next bell. Next one. Who's at the bell? Who makes and it? Who makes it? Oh, oh. Sprite by a whisker. Oh, no. You can't win oh, it twice. No. It's too late. Oh, there you go. Some extras oh, for the wow. good kitties. What a That finish. was close. Atari, you're so close. Oh, my cat. No, says Nostalgic. <laughs> oh, so close, Atari. So close. Sprite by one. Oh, he just got there a tiny bit faster. Atari, you have to stop looking at me. <laughs> He'll stare at me, and it's like, the bell, buddy, the bell. Captain Classic oh, shares there the we pot go. with two other people, 11,000 nice. channel points. Congratulations, nice. Captain Classic and the two mystery people. Yeah. Sprite by one An inch of a whisker. Whisk. It was so close. It was very close. Good game, Caps. Yeah, Atari, you just got to keep at it. Yep, next time you'll get him next time. Next one is Fortress Fighter. Yeah, Atari is aware that I, not the bell, are the giver of treats. <laughs> yeah, he looks at me and I'm like, hit the bell. Sprite makes a closer association. Yes, he does. With the bell. He, it's like he knows he's like, bell treat. Whereas Atari's like, treat, treat, treat. Treat, treat. Yeah. Fortress Fighter by Aaron Hitchcock, the Goodwill Gamer, is from December 17th. It's a 26K game. All these games are available on itch.io. Oh, look at that. Oh, I Whoa. love the muted colors. Wow, Fortress Fighter. Oh, B for controls. Let's take a look at that. Move, Move. Jump, jump, attack. attack. Basic potion. Pretty straightforward, really. It's your basic potion. Feeling a little beat down? Lost that spring in your step? Uh, well, suck down a few of these babies and you'll be good as new in no time. Treasure chest. When they ask why you do it, this is your answer. Treasure chest. Wooden boxes packed with gem and gold. What more could a humble knight ask for? <gasps> Scrolling. How do I get it? Stab it. Oh, well, maybe you're full. I don't know. Maybe you just automatically get oh. it. Ah! Oh, oh, maybe you're full. Yes, your health was full. Okay, this green thing, I don't think I can actually hit it. Uh, 
No! Oh, wow, no. that's awesome. You need a potion. Oh my gosh! Duh! Game <gasps> okay, over. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Masked oars. These fellows aren't the brightest of the bunch, but when they lack in brains, they make it up in numbers. Be sure to cut them down to size or leap out of the way, because once they get going, nothing can stand in their way. Masked oars. Ah! I guess it's those guys. Caustic slime. That's what who you're having trouble with. Oh my god! No, it's not them. It's the floor. <laughs> it's the floor. I, I keep getting stabbed. These gooey foes are slow moving, but pack a punch. So don't let their speed lull you into thinking you're safe. When it comes to your trusty sword, it doesn't do much other than knock them around a little bit. It's pretty <sighs> tough to do lasting damage to slime that just reforms after a blade slices through it. So you really can't get the slime. Oh my god! How do I time those stupid spikes? The floor is lava. Try stab, stab, stab combo. Pro tip. VVG oh my god! Oh my god. Don't Stop okay. moving. Just get past the stupid spikes. <laughs> Long sword. It's sharp on both sides with a nice point to the oh end. Oh my god. It's perfect for slashing through wave after wave of nasty monsters that just won't leave you alone. Never leave home without it. Jump. Perfect. You can jump. Oh, you need the potion. Yes. <gasps> this looks oh, so stop cool. Stop it! Oh my goodness. This looks so cool. It's so cute. New record. Was there scores? Oh, <laughs> oh I don't like, I don't like the pattern. stabbies. There is. Okay. <gasps> no potion. How do you get the potions? Just from some of them give you potions? Yeah, don't continuously stab. Because, uh... It says don't bother stabbing the slime. No, you can push them away from you, though. Yeah. If the timing is... Oh, oh you need health real bad. Oh, oh, oh got... you got some. Barely. Yeah, they just side. drop them. That's oh. that's the timing of that is is is. There we go. Jump over both. Oh, like, you can't. Like two barrels in Donkey you can't, Kong. You can't. Well, they have to be right on top of each other. Here. That's when you jump them. Yeah, you got to be right on top of each other. So let's jump. That's jump. That's stab. Stab. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the timing, the spikes. And not dying. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah, you have no health. This jump is... Nope. There you go. You just mm. cut it. Just, you jump over the, the, the goo. That's the rule. Oh, you need some potion. They're not dropping any. Fortunately, the slime just goes right past you. Oh, big animatic. Victory! Victory! Oh, Level it's levels. Two. Nice. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, what? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is that a mistake? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yep. Oh, it is. Oh, what? What? I'm in the sky. I'm in the sky. <laughs> I'm in pure cheat mode. Yay! Let's not right cheat. to the end. Ooh, that's, that's that was funny. That's a problem. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of cheating there. I have to get level with the enemies. Yeah, I'm sure you're not. Oh my god, no! <gasps> I'm sure you're not. Is the potion back? Oh, you can backtrack. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Somebody stole it. Yeah, he maybe he should uh, disable the ability to go into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely not intended. That's funny. It's like getting Yabo on the moon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. I do like the backgrounds quite a bit. Victory! Victory again! Unadvertised feature. Yeah, exactly. No static sound now. Okay, oh. well, I did move it in and out. Need it? Maybe it needs a little bit of polishing or something. What is it? Maybe there's uh, oxidation on cleaner. it? Contact cleaner. Yes. Contact cleaner, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I should spray some contact cleaner in there, actually. That's good. So it was the uh, the port, possibly. I did turn it down a lot, too. I don't know that if that's related. But it may not be. Is it getting harder? I don't think so. Actually, I haven't seen any spikes. It was only the first level. No, maybe, maybe they haven't really filled out the levels. It looks like the same thing over and over. It does. Yeah. Super cute. They all look to be about... Oh, you're back at level one now. Oh, okay. There's the spikes again. Those are... Make it challenging. Oh, they go in twos. It's not that bad. 
No, Nicole but it's Coke? it's Make the guys running at you that become the problem yes. when the spikes start. This is a great start to a game. It is. It There's is definitely a start, though. It needs a little bit of fleshing out. So many possibilities. Yeah, it's very good. The background looks fantastic, too. The, I yeah, love the, the bridges. Scrolling. The bridges are great. Yeah. I don't know if I can kill a slime. It says it you can. forms into small little bits. Really? But I think that's just story. I might just do story. <laughs> This is, this is, I think the crackles in the game one has sounds. This oh. game has no music, less crackles. Was there crackles there? <laughs> yeah, great start to a game. I, I love the premise and the way it's moving and scrolling and you pick up potions and you have to get to an end. Um, just need some more level, um, level creation. Next one is Grogger by Brian Peak. Peak B. Who's in, or was in the chat. Am I like causing static when I even stand up? Yeah, it, we're all like, very dry. Out. It's very dry. My hands have been so dry. Everything's dry right now. Thank you, Winter. <laughs> Thank you, Winter. Um, this is from January 15th. Um, this is an updated version from the Lynx Jam okay. version. Uh, it is available for download. Uh, Brian the Dev saw of we were playing Grogger today. And he uh, contacted me about, uh, he had an up, uh, updated version. Oh, is this the updated? Gonna, yep, it's oh, the updated 115. version. There we go. Okay. No files found. And that would be an issue. <laughs> what? What? There's like literally no files found? Uh-oh. Well, let's fix that. That doesn't make much sense, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. There's the links. There's the links. Grogger. Oh, you know what? I bet it's in a zip file. Ah. Uh, yep. Gotta unzip that file before you put it on. I do. Silly me. <laughs> Doesn't know how to unzip. There's a little black kitten in the corner of the cat cam there. Oh. Very satisfied with his win. He's like, yeah, I'm that good. <laughs> He's very. He looks very satisfied right now. And a little cold. It is cold in here. What's wrong with this? Having trouble? Uh, delete. Oh well. I'll just leave it there. It's not letting me delete. Uh, zip file, but that's okay. As long as the other one's on there. Okay. Oh, I can see the video game volume popping. See it? Yeah, I see it too. Yeah. Definitely having trouble. Interesting. Still popping. Oh, and it's not plugged in. Interesting. Oh, so it's something in the background? Something else. Hmm. Something for me to investigate. <laughs> Unzipping on a live stream. Didn't Twitch just change those rules? Says uh -huh. RC Seventy. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, now we should be able to play Grogger, <laughs> and it's not Frogger. <laughs> you think like it, it was Frogger, be. but it's yeah. not Frogger. Gangsoft Entertainment. Nice. Grogger, Lynx Jam 2023. You're... Oh, I thought you were going to sneeze. You're a frenzied Sorry. bartender trying to keep that never-ending flow of thirsty customers well-watered. You'll have to keep slinging Grog to keep them happy. You know what this is? You know what game this is? I think it's a I port. do. Uh, how to play. A, B, hold to fill bottle, release to sling to waiting patron. Up, down, move bartender up and down to different bars. Left, right, move along the bar to collect empty bottles. You'll know. Uh, sling drinks to thirsty patron while collecting the empty bottles they send back. Miss an empty bottle or serve a drink to an empty bar and you'll lose a life. Difficulty and number of patron increases as you move through levels. It is Tapper! You can move and get them faster. Oh, okay, can you? Yeah. And you want to get them off your screen as quickly as possible. So, no, move down to get it and you can throw a beer or a grog down before you get ah no you can hold Oops. it and move down oh can you and then let go that in a makes different life spot easier. Yeah. 
Grog Tapper. Tapper, Tapper. This is a clever ta take on the tile set. It is. This is very... I know you want to play this, so. Yes. Yeah, the video's going in and out. I can see it. Let me see. Oh, it's better. No, you can move in. Remember to move in. Can you? Yeah. To grab the empties. Yeah, I guess. I see. And if he has, uses the same rules as Tapper, you can start filling and it'll automatically jump back to fill. So you can run in, get one, and then press the button. So, to jump back. oh, I see. You did it! Nope, not quite. So, yeah. Faster! Press button! No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just playing with the controls. Okay. Give me some. Peak B says, I didn't have nice. time to write the bonus round, maybe in a future version. Awesome. I have played when Tapper, but it's not a game I've played a lot of, so. Just to shake the grog up. Switch, switch them around. You need the dancing wenches <laughs> at the top. Wouldn't they be? Oh, <laughs> dancing wenches. But they wouldn't be wenches. They would be like some strange creature because <laughs> they're all very strange patrons. Well, yeah. Oh, still going. Though. Has, have you never played Tapper before? Double Down says. I know I have, but I just I don't. I haven't. It's not a game I have played a lot of, so it's not one I'm as familiar with as some. Oh, it does do it properly. Good. Do, do this yes, please. Oh, so many. He runs down the bar as always. Fix four bugs, introduce one. What? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no, the bartender's walk animation is screwed up in the new version I sent. Dope. Oh. Is it? Uh, we, we can't notice anything, so don't worry about that. Oh, there is you no animation. You didn't point it out? Yeah. He just, just kind of floats, but that's okay. <laughs> no one would have known. No one would have known. It's still like a work in progress. Don't think you need to fill up the drink completely to throw it. Oh. Uh, you do. I think you do. Who said that? Because it's partial. It won't throw it if it's if half full. Version one point two coming soon. <laughs> well, that's how you you find. No, you do find... have to fill it up. Yeah. Oh. 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 Something happened there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't need to get the last one on the bottom. It just disappeared. You got it, didn't you? Maybe, but it didn't seem. I, do, I didn't press up to get it. I went pressed all the way oh. down to gather it. After enough grog, it will look as if the bartender is floating anyway. Yes, true. <laughs> oh, the guys at the. Ah, ha, ha, so many. <gasps> it is a fun game. It's very. Tapper's so good. Yeah, it is a fun game. It's a great, great idea. Oof. Oh, now Poor it's getting bartenders. bad. Now it's getting crazy. Come on. Go! Oh, didn't fill it all the way. There we go. Whew. Yeah, it's getting nuts. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. No! Didn't fill it quite enough. Yeah. Woo, good job. <laughs> yeah, you have, to, you have to hold the button down just a little bit longer than you think you need to. <gasps> oh, oh, first spillage. Oh, no, right off the edge. Fired. For a guy who doesn't drink, you certainly know how to... Sling. Serve some grog. Well, it's non-alcoholic grog. Is it? Okay. <laughs> There's not much mixing going on. That's true. Full, full. Yeah. I well, just have to make sure it's full, that's all. Full, no foam. Yeah, true. Doesn't, that doesn't fly off the table. Yeah. All the important things. Ooh. I 
I like the animation um, peak bee that you put in of them actually drinking it and flinging the flask. Yeah, it's so good. Like just not all the time, just just for some of some of the glasses. I love that. It looks great. Nice. Root rod grog tapper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, VVG is saying, I'm hearing the victory music before the round is complete. Oh, it's... the. Uh, there's a little delay in the audio feed, possibly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that happens when I turn it off and on. Yeah. Um, okay, good. We're going to move on to the right. next game. I think we've <laughs> uh, shown that one to its extent. That is very, very good very version good. of Tapper. Mm -hmm. It is really nice. Yeah. My computer's warning me of the snow, impending snow. Yeah, does it, so um, Nostalgic said, does it feel feel like it plays differently with only three rows of patrons instead of four? And then Peaky says, oh. it does a bit. I think it's a little too easy without the fourth row. Um, not just, not enough room to fit. Yeah, there's not enough room to fit it's, in. But it plays really fine, it really well with three rows. Yeah. Uh, next game is uh, Hero Dust by Canada FR. <laughs> Uh, December 16th. This is a 30k game. Uh, thanks to Fetus for giving me the links virus. <laughs> Feel free to browse my devlog. Blah, blah, blah. Goal of the jam was to make a game using the mandatory tile set, but not one tile set was made for a dungeon explorer. Uh oh, starting wrong. Uh, so I made a first person dungeon explorer. It's been so long, I wanted to try and make one. Uh oh. Hi. I was thinking about starting it, but it didn't. Let's try it again. Start. There we go. Like somehow if I push it harder it'll it will work. But I know it's very weird. It is weird. <laughs> Leon, dungeon cleaner. No. How can I help you? Uh, help us! Please! Okay. Calm yourself. Keep calm and explain yourself. They are everywhere! <laughs> what? Who? Where? These damn humans! They invaded our dungeons! Oh, nice! Oh, nice. Understood. I'm on my way. That's a nice twist. Hero Dust. Oh, oh! So cute. Gotta get the heroes! Hero Dust is a very basic one, but the basics are here. Projection, scale, and stretch. Because I got the flu on the way, I missed two things. Two more levels and sound. The difficult balance is wrong, too. I was unfortunately not able to test and adjust it in time. Have fun. It gives no instructions. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Is it? Oh, kill that human! Enemy two attacks. Whoa, shake. You attack enemy two. <laughs> enemy two. Nice names. <laughs> the playable, the bad guy sprites as playable characters. That's so funny. And the good guys as the enemies. Nice twist. I like that shake. Enemy two died. What does the other buttons do before you move? Oh. Try the buttons. Stop moving. Try the buttons. <laughs> Attack, defense, HP. Okay. okay. That's it. So you can get stats. <laughs> Kill! Kill the human invaders! Human invaders. They're very weak. 2 XP! <laughs> Humans are very weak. They have no defense. No armor whatsoever. Clean out, clean out this dungeon. They only have 2 XP. Or two hit points. Are they randomly appearing? I don't know. I think so. Because I think you've been through this part. Oh. Level two! Woohoo! Level, Level two. two. Experience 11. Yay, something. 10 HP! 10 HP. Nice. Attack two, defense one. Oh, oh, oh boy, level two is much boy. harder. Enemy three attacks. Oh no. So you have one attack and they're attacking three times for every one you do. Oh, they're missing me now. Nice. Oh, stronger. They are not strong. 
Use humans. You are stronger. There's just three of them now. Three hit points. Dead. No sound. He said no sound. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think there is a map. It was just uh, try when you're um, when you kill them, press the other button. No, nothing. Okay. What? And the other one does nothing. That's that's attack. That's mm -hmm. the that's the action. What happens when you press it when there's no character there? Nothing. nothing. Okay. Yeah, no map. It's not a very big maze. It looks like. Dungeon Keeper was one of the first play as the baddies I can think of. Ah. Dungeon Keeper. Keeper is the first one you play as the baddie. Ah. Uh, doesn't say how many levels there are. It says he, uh, they want to put more two more levels and sound. So, so far we've encountered the exact same enemy. What's that game that you play where things, you have like the head eaters? What are they called? What is that game? <laughs> oh. Um, uh, the, that the portal came from. The head crabs. Yeah. Head place. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah. Somebody will type it. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be hilarious if you played from that perspective. You were head, you were lice, head and you had to you had to glean on to people and then like move around then reject them and glean on to another person i well, think that would be in pretty alien funny. versus predator you can play alien as the predator the alien or the human oh nice so that's kind of like that i think it would be a fun perspective to it's play. also little devil for the atari 8-bit overlord as you play as the bad guy too okay i think we got the I, we got the feel <laughs> yeah i think you'll just i think you've maxed out the people that you're attacking and they don't seem to be getting any harder um, cool okay. start. Very cool. Chalcedony Mouse says, yeah, oh yeah, AVP was fun that way. Yeah. Yeah, because you get different attacks uh, as an alien. Next one is Rainbow, which we won't spend too much on. Okay. Because we played it on the 7800 the other day. Oh. So this is the Lynx version of it by Carrie Caxanen. Oh, back. <laughs> Wrong one. Playing the Went classic down to games. classic, yeah. <laughs> All the original games. Yeah. And now we move on to all the originals. So this has been updated since the Lynx Jam. So this is December 30th, okay. so it was after. Lynx Jam 2023. I'm in a cozy little pond. Oh, the yes. little girl in the frog exchange. Curious. Oh. Did you press a button next? I don't think oh. so. What has happened to our vibrant rainbow oh, lately? The frog attacked is dull and gray, and it's a bit of downer. So the text is the same. Okay. So if you want to watch this game, our, our full playthrough, um, yeah. you can watch the 7800 version. Um, the 7800 used like um, text tile set, didn't it? Yeah. Like little tiny ass, uh, Atasky characters. Mm. And this uses graphics. Yeah, very nice. So let's just skip through this. Okay. I like uh, a VVG. How many of these little blonde girls do we have to kill? <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere, in infesting the links. They are infesting the links. Skip through it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nice. So let's go to um the overworld um where you move through the different steps and we'll take a look at what that looks like it's a cute uh we did a little uh, a playthrough of it and a little mini review and um it's super cute the text it's very nice and clever and um the story's really cute and i don't know if uh, carrie are you developing them simultaneously so if you add um, a mini game to one, you'll add it to the other. Needs music. Rainbow Connection. Oh. Yes. Bye-bye, Cyrano. Bye, Cyrano. Have a good night. Yes. So Carrie is uh, day. developing them. <laughs> uh, day. Day. Uh, it's in Australia. Um, developing them simultaneously. So mm. if he adds one thing to Skip, 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 skip. Oh, there we go. So follow the path. And we'll take a look what the path graphics look like. Because that's where really what the difference is. Ooh. Nice. So it's using all the characters from the tile set. Follow the money. Follow the money. <laughs> so same text. So let's follow the path. 
Ooh. labyrinth. Let's see what the labyrinth looks like. Oh. Enter labyrinth. Perfect. Yeah, you have to. There we go. <gasps> okay. A little better graphics. I'd never thought that the Lynx would have better graphics than the 7800, but here it is. When was the Lynx, what was the release date of the Lynx? The text part is written in Scott Kit. Same jokes. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> 1989, so way after the 7800. 7800 was 84, the initial properly release. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Oops. So follow the path. Insert the coin. Oh, this will have some more graphics. This is a quest to save the rainbow. The game is developed simultaneously on the Atari Lynx and 7800. Further complicate the things, I use two different compilers. My version of the CC65 for the Lynx and the CC7800 by B. Stux for the 7800. This is the top level of the game, the storyline. It was supposed to connect several mini games into a complete board game. For this jam, you got the storyline with just one mini game, the Grandolf the Wise Encounter. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are the graphics, yeah. So the uh, 7800 version is in oh. black and white, ah. right? Mm. Two coins. It's targeting the lice. lice. Yeah, he is. Did you get all the lice? Did you get them all? Do I, I don't have think you did. Yeah. Do I have any lice? He's grooming me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good night, Carl. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll go to one more. Yep, down path again. Is this predicted? No, this is different. Bad luck. Yeah, follow the path. They are for gathering coins for casinos. Correct. The graphics is 320A mode for the 7800. Pumpkins. Oh, this is hopping. So, the, oh, okay. Remember the, the maze? Mm -hmm. It's like a mix between mine. What is it? What's the game on the... Win on Windows? What's it called? What's it called, Atari? It's called Mine. Minesweeper. That's what it is. Thank you. Minesweeper yes. for, for Windows. Still busy eating Christmas leftovers. Okay. Follow path. No, we haven't hit that one yet. Oh, okay. So Lynx has a 65CO2. Is that a variant of the 6502? I'm guessing it sounds exactly the same. Invest in the worm farm. Don't do it this time. Follow the path. Because it doesn't give any graphics. So follow the path. Say no. No. Actually, doesn't it pay off? I can't remember. Did it pay off last time? No. Look. Follow the path. Follow the thanks. Follow the stocks. Is this the quiz? Oh, no. no. Small action game. All right. Leave Bernie alone. Follow the path. Oh, Our this is gate. riddles. There's the riddles. First riddle. What has keys but can't open locks and sometimes rhymes with socks? Oh, and we know the answers to these now. Do we? This one we didn't get right. It's because it was a crap, crap answer. Oh, you have to guess a word. Oh, it was something that does not rhyme with socks, and I can't remember what no, it was. No, I think you have to get it wrong. Oh, really? Hi, what are you doing? You're very silly. Sometimes rhymes with socks. Oh, sometimes. I didn't yeah. notice that. Um, time. What has keys? I don't know. What has keys? Oh. A chain? It's piano. Piano? Yep, RC70 remembers. And Captain Classic. Thank you. I have no idea what Atari is up to back there. What are you doing? Are you being silly? He's like pawing at something and licking his paws and eating it, but I see absolutely nothing. Oh, oh he's just begging for treats. Oh, I can't go back. Oh. Really? Oh, no. Just hold it down then. 
Actually, you don't want to hold it down no. too far, do you? Well, you have to be I able to go. I can't go back. No, screwed. Is that a bug or is it my It's a joystick? bug. Oh. oh, no, it's your joystick. Now it works? Yeah, now it works. Okay. Why did it turn purple? Was it purple before? I don't know. The order is not important. That means you can spell piano any way you want. Yay! It also rhymes with socks. <laughs> Silly. Hey, keep going. <laughs> piano forte, stocking. Monkey. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the next okay. game. Okay, yeah. We've been through this game we very... Have. Hi. Looks a little different, but hi. Why are you smacking color. me in the head? That's That doesn't get you more treats. Rude. No. <laughs> okay, next game is Running Night by Dr. Ludos. Uh, size 28K. Uh, he's also made Fishing for Atari on the links. Gift Catcher, Growing Ties Deluxe. Mini, mi mini Gun Miner for the 2600. Super cool. Uh, Sheep It Up for the 2600. Time Loop for the links. Yep. Get the treasure, avoid the pillars. Running Knight is a small game for the Atari Lynx game console. You control a knight that is always running in a maze full of deadly pillars and treasure chests. Uh, how long can you run? Use the D-pad to move and hold A or B to run instead of walking. Option two to disable or enable music. If you're looking for a challenge, my current high score is 723 points. Well, don't tell me high scores because <laughs> then I will want to beat your high score. You're already a seventh of the way, a tenth of the way there. You've only been playing for like 30 seconds. What are you doing, your silly cat? Oh, Bernie, don't you, Bernie. No. That's a nice present from um, Muddy Funster's yeah. family. Muddy Funster's wife. Yes. Deadly Pillars. Well, you can beat 723. You I think? believe in you. You're already almost there. 200. You only died once, of the though, right? There's no lives. One life, yeah. Running bartender animation bug fix. Thanks for the live beta testing. Anytime. That's what we're here for. <gasps> Careful. You almost hit a pillar. So you only get 10 points for the uh, chest. I don't know. Sometimes you seem to get more. Yeah. Oh, running too fast. Oh, you can go back. 10, 10, 10. Oh, I don't know. I thought I got 30 one time. 30? Wow. Yeah. I might be wrong. <sighs> I almost died. I don't know. This game is my entry into the Lynx Jam 2023 Game Jam host by Atari Lynx Vault this year. The theme is same as but different. Uh, every participant has to use the same tile set. Selected by the jam organizers to make a new game with it. This is a very unique theme. And we get eager to see what everyone will make with it. Another limitation is the scope. The whole game must fit under 50k. 50k O. Now, I'm not sure what the difference is between an O and an LNX, but the LNX seems to bloat the game. Can any of the um, Lynx devs tell me the difference between the O? Careful. The O and the LNX um, versions of games. William Tell Overture. Yeah. Ooh, that's a scary one up there. The O was the downloadable format. But you can download. What do you mean by downloadable? So you can download both of them. I mean, yeah, it has to be under 50 for the O. But they, people are also provided the LNX files. And the LNX files were sometimes bigger than the O files. So oh, careful. Oh, you could download it through the through com links. Oh, that's what you mean by downloadable. Like the links could download it. The links itself. Okay, that's cool. This is... Uh... <laughs> Almost beaten his score. Oh, he almost hit that pillar. Getting too cocky. What was his score? It was 723. You have the Yay! new world record. Yay! This is not hard. <laughs> You're an expert he game must player have now. Given up. <laughs> I, I don't even find the pillars. Like, I haven't. Oh, finally. 819. 
Okay. I found gonna... it quite easy to dodge them, so I don't know. New record. Even says it on the screen it's a new record. <laughs> My new I'm record. Gonna... Woo! I'm gonna run the whole time. Yeah, run it, run it all. I was going very slow. Yeah. Just so I can get the... I don't find it that hard to dodge the pillars, so Hey, uh, oh, you don't, no. Well, you can slow down to get them, and you can go back for them. Okay, I'll do that. Because the there's time no I'll time run. limit, so nope. you might as well slow down and get as many as you feel comfortable. Huh, I sir? I don't feel comfortable. Oh, you don't? <laughs> do you need a safe space? I do. Do you need I a safe kitten? I need a safe kitten, quick. Kitten never feels safe, so. Oh, he's oh. got claws out all the time. Yeah. Pissing at everything. Yeah. Oh. oh, 150. Uh, you have the world record. I have world record Weepy. next one is silly archery <laughs> apropos of nothing how awesome is it that nick offerman won an emmy for the last of us i have not seen that show but i do love nick offerman nick so. offerman's in it yeah cool oh he's fantastic we're almost to the end four more to go silly archery i'm sure everyone's gonna be like how have you not seen the last of us everyone says it's fantastic so Oh, you've got a cat. I do have a cat. Can I put this on you? No? Oh, there we go. No? Uh, this is by Frederick Ducharme, uh, Fadist. Oh, oh. Well, we're going to have to do it sideways, but they get to see it the right way. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's... Or not. <laughs> nope, you can't do it. Well, it's set to the other. <laughs> can you uh, turn it again? Degrees. <laughs> Funny. Yes, I can. 15, 20, 10. Power up. Oh boy. Oh, how did I do it? Oh, it just continually moves. You don't need to you don't need to you don't need to shift it. It just continually shoots. There's not there's no button use at all from what oh, I can tell. Okay. It's very straightforward. Uh, you guys can watch it upside down. Or no, we'll do it uh, we'll do it like this. Are you able to move forward a bit? No. Left to right? No, just no. up and down. Just up and down. So those things just... Oh, sometimes they stop. Oh, that was a potion I or know. something. You have full health, though. I think they're health potions, so... Ah! Oh, now you're down one, down one heart. Ah! And down arrows. Oh. Challenge mode. I'll just fo hold my phone upside down. Then the hosts are going to fall off the couch. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. It's really hard to hit anything with one arrow. <laughs> oh, those went right through you. Oh, you did lose health. Okay. A little bit. No, I lost that before. Oh. No. Ah. Oh, down a half a heart now. Ah. Oh, that was close. I need some potions, please. Potions. Ah! Oh, no. So there's some parallax. It's like you're ah, in death. a pit. Almost. Yep. Oh, you're continuously moving. Yeah, you continu continuously shoot. Oh. Those potions give you power-ups, I think. Oh. Yeah. Because I only have one arrow. Oh, you constantly shoot. So really, it's only up and down. Yeah, the music is great. Ah, ah. Is ah. the upside-down upside part of the silly? Yes. Yes, that's, that's the whole silly part of it. Oh, double arrows. Yay. I have some power. I shot my potion. Triple arrows. Ooh. Oh, you get the potion if you shoot it, too. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's good. Shoot it. Oh, you... What? You get more arrows if you shoot the potion? No, 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 no. I'm down to two now. Boo. Oh, I'm going the opposite way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I know. It's hard. It's not so easy. Need potion. No! 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 Good game. Good game. Yeah, it's a good shooter. What's with the flickering? I don't see too much flickering on the Lynx games no, usually. No, I don't because... Is that intention? Or is it because the uh, bow is kind of That's what I'm thinking. going the, behind it? The bow isn't behind it mm. and it's drawing, but the bow isn't flickering. I don't know. It might be just a Seems to just repeat the same thing over and over again. Yes. So a good good start. Yeah. To the game. Oh, I didn't get any hearts, but no, I got, got more arrows. Yeah. I don't know if 
you get hearts, do I don't you? I think you do. I think it's just uh, power ups. Yeah. I like the power ups. Oh, I have to go to the bottom on that one. Might go be to... PAL versus NTSC issue? No. Um, Lynx doesn't have a PAL. Or, oh, or at NTSC. All? Oh, it just it's, has, its, own it's thing. just a Lynx. Yeah, it's just a Lynx. It's a, <laughs> it's a handheld device. So. It has its own uh, screen, so it can set whatever. It They're all the same, right? Well, you're not showing it on a TV screen. Yeah, so the the refresh rate of it is whatever it is whatever it is one frame 50 frames a second and also the resolution isn't ntsc or pal either mm -hmm. it's it's whatever it is i've memorized it i swear they go through those sometimes. the arrows yeah uh, they're cheater cheaters always go to the opposite you think she always seems to be the bottom actually yeah, it is repeating over. Oh, yeah, you don't get any extra health. No. And three arrows max. So once your health is gone, it's gone. Yep. Cool! Neat! I, I love shooters, so, yep. Um, very good start for a shooter. Okay, next game! Almost there. Three more to go. Three more? Oh, yep. my goodness. Next one is... Untitled Sword Shooter. Now, this was developed for the jam, mm -hmm. but it was not part of the jam. In the end. Because so... it was just started. Uh, and they didn't quite get it finished in time. Yeah, it says, some work in progress, no score, no finish. And that flickering is is part of it. Is it? Oh, yeah. no. So we'll only play this for a second because yeah, there's no score. Yeah, the, the flicker also, brain issues. So it's, it's, it's Space Invaders <laughs> with the characters. Cute. You're shooting the green cladded people with the yellow haired person at the bottom. My neck hurts. Oh, rotate. Thank you. <laughs> Funny. Oh, what is happening? Oh, it's stuck now. Oh, don't worry. There we go. Forever, forever. So this is the game. Oh, I'll let you finish the, the level at wow. least. What are you doing, you silly cat? Cats are crazy. They are. They're not getting any faster either. Because there's no bullets coming down, so that would... Oh, oh, no. oh, oh tiny flicker's bit. Gone. Flicker's gone a bit. There we go. You won! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, <laughs> I kind of dug it the wrong way around, says Render Cross. <laughs> now the little blonde girl is attacking. Yeah, blonde girl's getting her own back. Yep. Uh, so now we're going to be playing Bowling Beast. Okay, that's not that's not alphabetical By... order. No, I know. I know. <laughs> By ancient by ancient world, Alex is his Lord his a Lord Kraken. Um, so he he says this isn't a this is not even a finished full game at all. Um, beautiful title screen. Very nice. And he Ooh. says a full working version will be released in the coming weeks. Nice. Bowling Beast. Great title screen. And great music. Great image. Fantastic. So this is a very cool premise. Okay. So you are bowling. Literally, you are bowling. <laughs> You're the bowling ball. And the bowling ball can jump. And you can steer the bowling ball down the alleyway, too. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god, you can move them too. Okay, that's something. Okay. What am I hitting? Oh, nothing. This is like like I said at the beginning. Oh, this sorry. This isn't a game. It it hasn't actually hit become a game yet. No. So there's nothing gotcha. to do. But oh, I love cute. the premise. Yes, I do too. And I think what you can make it into is like, and I think that's what he's going he's going for because you can jump and move is that there's going to be obstacles that pop up. That you have to jump that over? That you have to jump and avoid. Nice. To get to the end, to get the pins, the bowling pins. Nice. Right? No, the title screen's sequel to Ninja Golf. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Cool. So there, this is this is what he's got so far, and I think, uh, I think it's really cool. It's got the, the stretching. Like, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> It's got like look. a perspective change. And the bowling ball looks great. Nice. Yay! So, kind of cool. So, uh, 
the perspective effect is kind of wrong. Yeah, it's really like it's it's squishing, but also moving along at the same time. Yeah. Kind of like a movie effect than a realistic effect, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah. the Hitchcock effect. I can't remember the name of it. It's like when you dolly in and um, mm. zoom out. And zoom out at the or same time. Or in at the same time, depending on what you're going for. So last game is YN, uh, YNXA, The Leaf and the Guardians of Time by Frederick Descharm. Nice. Fadist. 36K O file. Uh, Lee, Leaf the Elf Princess is back in a new adventure. So this is a sequel to YN, YNXA, mm. which is a released game. This time, she'll be able to invoke her grandma in the past and her ether form in the future. Okay. Um, due to constraints of space, uh, there are only nine levels, including the tutorial ones. Use widely, wisely the different powers of the three incarnations of Leaf to solve the puzzle. Grandma can rearrange the temple map by sliding rooms. Okay. Which we've played in a game before mm -hmm. on the Atari 8-bit. Um, if an empty room is present in the temple. Leaf can teleport to another room at the same position. Mm. This power is limited uh, in number of use per temple. Okay. Ether can slide and survive in darkness, while Grandma and Leaf will die after a short period. In each level, your goal is to claim each flag. To do so, you must find one or more bottles and fill them with the same color uh, as the flag to claim them. Okay. Once all the flags are claimed, you automatically go to the next level. <laughs> All perspectives are a lie, according to XKCD. Hmm. Okay, so there's the first level. Try the other button. Try tapping it really lightly. Debounce. Need debounce. So that's the bottle. So you have to fill the bottle. And then... Not fall off the ladder. Slippery ladder. And there we go. Leaf dies in darkness. Press A to switch characters. Okay. Switch to a different character. Oh, I thought it meant like you would switch. Oh. So you need to be the slime to go in the darkness. So you got just got the bottle. Mm hmm. But he I'd slides. Fall down. Okay, you can slide. Oh. Stop it. So the grandma will die in a short period. So if you No, change, both of them will. Now switch. Now you switch to the slime. Don't slam it, please. Ugh. This, Just that's the it. problem. I'm hitting the wrong. Oh. Because this, I keep thinking this is A. Come on. Come on. What is wrong with the screen? Screen or button? Screen. Okay, let's try this one more time. <laughs> there you go. Now switch. And then fall and then switch. Oh, too slow. I hit it three times, so... Hit it, um, not hard, but fully. I... that's what I did. No, you could try. <laughs> Interesting. It's having trouble switching, but that's okay. I, okay. I, you can kind of get... Switch easy here. Yeah, and then you have to use that to slide. You have to switch to her. You can't fall down there. Okay. How do you? How come it won't switch? It won't switch very quickly. There's there's some kind of lag. No, it's it switches super quick here. No, but there's some kind of lag as as she's falling, as she's dying. It doesn't let you switch. Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. Oh, listen to Karakak. Think of Slide Boy. Oh, try up. Oh, up. Oh. oh. Oh, gotcha. Oh. So she can't go in at all, is what you're saying. So you need... Um, that makes more sense. Thank you. Thank you, Karakak. <laughs> help, help, help. See? Yeah. <laughs> See? It was That's useful. You do it. Yeah, that makes sense. That's also very strange. That's why I was tapping it. <laughs> no, but... Oh, it is very strange. It is very like strange. Holding it down doesn't do it. Is it because of the setting, or no? Because it's on setting two. Yeah. Mm. This is being very, very finicky. Yeah, the button 
like devil. It like only works sometimes. Yeah. You don't touch B, whatever you do. Come on. Like, I had to press it six times. So you have to change to the grandmother and switch the tiles, I think. Can't switch. Can't switch? No. <laughs> Just simple push on A. Yeah, no. he's not doing anything. Maybe it's... Something is being funny. Maybe it's this. Maybe uh, it's the connection? Ow! Zip. <laughs> it's right now. Zapped every time. No, not that button. Oh, what's this? That's she teleports. Oh, that's what you need to do. It's still not flipping back. I had to press like six times to get it, so try six times. Try a bunch. Yeah, there's something very odd with... Oh. There we go. It is still in beta. Because it's funny, it'll switch to the map instantly. First time, every time. But getting back from the map, it takes like a thousand button presses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What is the position of the side push button? Is that the problem? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not the problem. No. It see it does work, and it, I'm not doing anything different. It's something funny. Yeah. One two three four five six. <laughs> one two three. One two three. One two three. It's that different doesn't help every you. Time. You have to switch to the other room. You want to be there. There you oh, go. See, yeah. Or you want to <laughs> fall first? Oh my god. But it doesn't go there. See, it goes back to where I am. Reboot, says Captain Classic. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you're in challenge mode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it definitely is a challenge Something mode. Something is being a little funny. Try pressing longer. Uh, Try both short and long. I was holding sure. it. But, I was um, doing that too. It's being, it's being silly. Try it again. Watch the buttons works. Back. Both buttons work fine. The buttons work fine. We'll go in here. Works. Works. As soon as we get into the game, it's like, nah, nah. Your buttons mean nothing to me. Um, you need to get both crosses visible, then press B. Yeah, it's, it's, but B is the problem right now, for some reason. For some reason. See? Look, it works fine on this level. Not fine. Well, it, there's a debounce issue. There's but, a um, debounce? Yeah, that means wait a bit before reading the button again. Okay. This is reading the button like instantly, as soon as it can. Quick, 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 quick. See? Perfect. Oh, you have to fill it up there. Yeah. Yay. B display the map. So. Okay, that worked. So that's, that's not you a spot. Be there? I yeah. do want to be there. I think so. You want to fall down, right? But it won't flip back. Press A. No. Holding it doesn't do anything. Yeah, the the this 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 level is wacky. Is is apparently the issue. Hmm. The game buffering input or throwing away button presses when it has one in the queue. Huh. But still That's doesn't. not where, yeah. And I can't change character. Maybe maybe you need to be on this side here. No. Here? Those seem like valid spots to warp yeah. to, but it doesn't warp. Yeah. Oh, well.
Never knew Lynx had such a cute color palette. Yeah, there's this like very a, nice colors. a soft color palette in there, like a pastel palette, which is lovely. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, this level is, is having some issues. Maybe it's our system. It could be our system. I'll blame our system because I'm sure this was tested. The first two levels work. The buttons work perfectly. Yes, yes. And as soon as you get to this level, no, nope, something Something nothing. is 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 unhappy. You have to... but, but it, yeah. Hmm. Very, very strange. Four thousand and ninety-six. Well, that's wow. a lot of colors to choose from. So, which is lovely. Yeah, and and we can't seem to warp anywhere either. So. No. <laughs> so, uh, looking forward to playing this in the future. Yeah, Car Caracac <laughs> says I've played it on a real Lynx too, and it works okay. So. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can troubleshoot that and see if we can get it running. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure what, why. But one and two work well, and it looks like a really cool game. So yeah, does. we'll figure I it like, out. We like puzzle games. It, so it, would any of the other controllers work on this, or just that one? A Sega Master System controller. Do you want to try But I don't it? have a one that works well. Oh. Okay. I only have one, and it's kind of dodgy. Mm. I don't think it's. I don't think it's here. Do you turbo on? There's no turbo. Mm. Good. Uh, good assumption, though. That would definitely do what it. What is actually happening on the screen right now? Oh, is that it? No. 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 Mm. So sorry. Yeah, absolutely. It does look like it will be uh, really fun and well made. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like puzzles, especially with like different characters that have different abilities and you have to use them together. Very cool. One that... to go back to. I, I want to try that game. It looks really cool. This one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of these, the, the developers said they're going to continue continue developing onward. yeah excellent so we will get a chance to play them again you could ask frederick to fix key bouncing issues in the game that mm -hmm. would help a lot in this because mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have to go tight tap, tap. captain classic says tile set because we were going to look at the oh, tile set so we'll, we'll do that now yeah because i want to see what people use the most and what people didn't use very much the little blonde girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah people love the the blonde girl um using that the, tile set. the blue dinosaur um, now, I don't know if these will be in a version where we can just see them. Oh, I see. Or do we have to load them into a no. specific program? Okay. Uploaded here. So, oh, okay. We can't see them. Cute. Demons, heroes. So we've got, oh, it's too fast. Sorry. So we've got a bunch of heroes, and they definitely didn't use them all. Yeah. Use the wizard, bearded and unbearded wizard. Women, no, male and female wizard. Oh, okay. I think, I, I assume, I yeah. assume. Didn't see these guys. No, I didn't see them. I saw this guy. I mean, and it's it's a guy. version of this tile set, he said, so they're they're similar. Oh. I don't think they're exactly like didn't these. see but... this guy. We saw the knights. The, 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 the girl and the boy. We saw this was that a boss. demon. That the demons were in it for demon, sure. Demon. Uh, that yes, yeah. that was yeah. It looked a little different though. Okay. Yep. Very cute. Uh, I remember that guy. Yeah. Don't remember these tall. Dudes. Uh, the blue one and the white, the white one at the top, the undead. They came down in the in the archery um oh. shooting game that we had to turn sideways. Ooh, lots of orcs. Orcs. Cute. Mm, this is just them. No, but there was also that. like a pumpkin head guy. I mean, maybe someone created that too. I think they could create their well, own. Well, there was multiple games with pumpkins, so. Uh. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing? I didn't see any pumpkin guys in this. Hmm. Where did they come from? The yellow guy was handing out bombs. Yes, I think you might be oh, right. He was popping guy? up to hand out bombs. That's, yes. That's, yeah. Yeah. Um, we should go back to that other one because there was something another link yeah. there. That's a zip file. That's a, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That might be just all of those contained. Let me just open it outside of this. Oh, one second. Oh. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, this has a pumpkin head guy in it. Yeah. Here we go. 
So there's, oh, there's some bombs. There's the hearts. There's the uh, treasure chest. Some potions. Nice. There's the slug guys. Nice. There's that. Oh, I recognize all these guys. Yeah, very nice. So this is the actual tile set. Oh, so cute. Oh, switches, there's, there's all the banners. floor stuff. Yeah, switches, buttons, doors. The knights. There we go. Very cute. And animated versions yeah. um, of some of them. Well, all of them. The monster, right. the bowling monster. Oh, yes, yeah. that's right. There's no bowling ball in this set, though. There's the mm, weapons. Bombs. Oh, a bunch of weapons, the bows and arrows. Very nice. Oh, nice. This is a really good set. Yeah. yeah that's a smart, smart thing to do to um, give people built -in A starting graphics. point. Yeah. So they don't have to spend their time on the graphics and spend it more on the gameplay and the, and yes. the, the level design and all that. Yeah. I hope they do so, uh, some similar jam for the 7800. Nice. I have never heard of a game jam for the 7800. Really? Hmm. I mean, there are general game jams. Yeah. Um, but not specifically for the 2600 or 7800 that I've ever heard of. Um, there should be, because there's great languages for both of them. Like Batari Basic and 7800 Basic, which should make it easy enough to complete a game in, you know, two, three weeks for a game jam. That would be super, super cool. Yeah, I've not heard of a jam for the 7800 either. No, no. And it's, I mean, 2600 scene is huge. Um, 7800 is not as big as the 2600, and but 7800 is about the same as Lynx scene. So there's no reason why they couldn't have a 7800 mm -hmm. game jam. Uh, I'm not the person to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but someone else <laughs> Because I'm is. not a 7800 programmer. I think it would take a 7800 programmer to put this on because they know what's happening and what's what's possible yeah. and what's not possible. Get, yeah. con figure out the confines of, of the of the gem. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is, yeah, yeah our little sprite. sprite running around. Let's put a bunch on the screen. Do, 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 do. There we go. We're going to bounce around. Do, 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 do. That's how they are in the movie, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Vintage Gaming Memories. Um, so today we played a whole bunch of games. Uh, we're not going to do summaries of them because there's so many. Yeah. Um, but we did kind of mini summaries as we went through them. Um, all really great seeds. Some of them are much more advanced than others. Yeah. And you can see the beginning elements of some and some are more robust games and i want to see a lot of them continue on yeah like there's some really really, really great games in there great games yeah. even the start yes even ones that had almost nothing to them they had the great idea yeah to start with yeah, yeah. um uh, so what's coming up on the show let's take a look it is uh the next day Day. We're going to be playing an Atari 8-bit day with Dude Story, Lady Tut, Vexed. Uh, maybe a fourth one. I don't know. Those are Very pretty... Nice. There's lots Is to play there. Is that with Darcy on Friday? D Darcy, yes. Darcy. Because the last... I think I confirmed... It was Erilyn last week, yeah. Yeah, okay. so I think it's with Darcy. Mm. Um, and then the day after that, we are have a 2600 day. We at least Yay. Fly Hunter might... Let me just check. I got an email that might tell me. <laughs> What's happening here? What's happening on uh, Tuesday? Yes. We will be doing an exclusive world premiere <gasps> Ooh. of a new game. Ooh, that's exciting. And uh, let me get the name of that game. One second. You don't even know the name of that game. Well, it's pretty new. That's that's me. a really new game. <laughs> you um, don't even know the name yet. One second. Are they still deciding on it? Like you're. No, no. <laughs> he's he's thinking about it and texting as as we. It's speak. called Goblin Sword. Nice. Yeah. So nice. it hasn't been posted anywhere. Okay. So nobody knows about that. Excellent. Um, it's it's kind of cool. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, you'll be here. I'll be here. And actually, you're a perfect person for it. It's a fun game. Um, RPG. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um. So thanks for watching. Uh, it was a lot of fun going through all the uh, Lynx Jam games mm -hmm. and discovering what all the people did with the same graphics. And there was such a huge variety of games. Yeah. Shooters, RPGs, well, fighting, a portion of an RPG, uh, dungeon crawlers. Mm -hmm. 
uh, endless runners. Uh, kind of what do they call that? The Zuma game where you're throwing bombs. <laughs> Zuma game that was very very unique. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trying to stop the horde of of demons coming up from hell. Yeah. Um. What other games? There's the bowling, bowling one. Game. Yeah. Um. So such a huge variety space invaders one tapper one tapper yep. was fantastic i yep. thought that was really well done uh text adventure one yes yeah that's right text so graphics was adventure. there a winner to this links jam <laughs> no or was it just hey we're gonna play your games like yeah. there wasn't there wasn't a mark there wasn't a marking but there wasn't a um competition a competition it was just let's all make a bunch of games with this tile set and they're all the winner and we're all the winners yes for I getting agree. all these awesome no, I w games. yeah i was i was just curious and if... they do get all their games I like put that. on a cartridge i like that i think that's fantastic now i don't know if those the specific versions we played mm -hmm. will go on a cartridge or they're gonna or uh igor is gonna give them a bit more time to like polish things up mm. um can you Exhibition, not a comp competition. So please, as always, no, no wagering. wagering. <laughs> um, a peak B, do you know if uh, Igor is going to give you time to do some changes? Because you just did some changes. He just did some changes oh, on his yeah. um, for Grogger. Yeah. Um, so I'm guessing they're able to do some polishing up and finish. Before they up. end up on the cart kind of thing? Yeah. Um, just winners in this jam. Yeah, I like that. Jam. Yeah. <laughs> Winner gets a Sword Quest Air World Prize. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna make the cart in February, so a bit more time. Okay, yeah, that's nice. so they have about a that's month. That's nice. Yeah, a month Good more. Good stuff. Too. That's awesome. So we'll get even yeah. better versions of all these games. I will games. have to play them again, and especially uh, that last one. And he's gonna send us a cart. That was awesome. Oh, really? So we'll be playing them oh, off the cart. Oh, nice. We'll be running through them again nice. and uh, checking them out. Awesome. Yep. So thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, Peak B, Karakak, Amadev, RC70, Chalstony Mount, Nostalgic, Dan, AVC, Cat Ballerina, Vintage Gaming Memories. Uh, Karakak, uh, do, 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 Pseudo Graphics, RC70, Rendered Ghost. Gamadev, I'm sure you've said all these names already. Maybe. Very nice. Ivory Tower Ivory Collections, Tower. Carl G, Cyrano Reboot. Awesome. Uh, Retro Gamer Dundee. Odd to see you guys on a Tuesday night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hmm. maybe he only watches us on Fridays then. Mm. And that's all the people and all the people that were lurking. Oh, Nightmare Creatures 99. I'm getting Atari 2600 Cosmic Bowling. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Uh, run some treat drills, Atari. Yep, you got to yes. practice. Practice, you were getting better. You did better in he the second did. round. He did do better in the second you round. almost bested Sprite. Almost. It was yeah. so close. It was oh, neck and, and neck. And ABD official. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Awesome. And uh, we'll be back on Friday with Darcy and playing some 8-bit games. Yes. Sorry, 8-bit games. Yes. Oh, uh, when do we stream? We stream Tuesdays, Fridays. Uh, Tuesdays at night. And Fridays then at in usually at, midday, sometimes at night. Midday, yeah. Pacific time. So uh, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Fridays at noon Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern, and you can translate that yeah. to wherever you and are. And then the odd other stream. Because I know you're, you're not in Europe right now. All Atari. It'd be like 4 a.m. Yes. <laughs> so, all Atari. All Atari. 2600, 5200, 7800, Atari 8, 8 bit, Lynx, and Jaguar. Yeah. No STs. No STs. For now. <laughs> Don't have any more room for more consoles or computers, so that's why. Yeah. Otherwise, I might get it. Um, so if I, somebody encloses our downstairs balcony, then we can expand, expand the office. No, that's the not going to happen. <laughs> no? Okay. So we'll see you. Uh, oh, 7800. Good one to get. Lots yes. of development going Lynx on. Lynx is all that matters, that's says right. Pee, Pee. <laughs> Today, Lynx is all that matters. Yes. Tomorrow, or Friday, it'll be a target. But. Yes. So we'll see you on Friday and have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.